Hey everybody, this is Valerie Mason and welcome to a special edition of the Winning Women Network. So happy to have you here today. Typically on a Sunday at 8 p.m. we feature a big panel of women, about 10 women who have done amazing things in our industry, in particular our business opportunity. But this week we want to feature one person because when you feature 10 women, you really can't get into the depths of how they got to their level of success. So we want to give you an opportunity to uh, meet someone who's had tremendous success in DS domination, someone who's built a six-figure income in less than uh, less than a year from the comfort of her home, someone who's been speaking on stages, is creating products, she's just doing amazing things, and none other I'm talking about than the amazing founder of DS Domination, the, um, I'm not DS Domination, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm excited, um, the amazing founder of the Winning Women Network, the think tank behind this wonderful Sunday night event, Mrs. Keisha Bass. Keisha, are you with us tonight? Girl, I am here, and I had to laugh, okay? I like, the I founder know. of DS Domination, I was like, oh, wait, oh, no, wait. hold up now. <laughs> I'm like, whoops! <laughs> I'm here now, and I'm so excited to be hanging out with you. I was so, I was, you know, just hanging out with you on a Sunday night. I was like, oh my god, this is so cool! So I'm excited to be here tonight. Well, I am so glad. I'm so honored to be able to interview you. I've been uh, talking to you over the last couple of months, well, about a year now, I would say. Because Keisha, I believe you've been in DS domination for a year now. Have you actually hit your one year anniversary? Um, September 29th. So Are you I, serious? It's yeah, tomorrow. It is tomorrow. So my one year anniversary is actually tomorrow. So oh my goodness. Well, I know. Right Perfect timing. Time. Yeah. So one year, DS domination, six figures and beyond. But I'm curious, and I'm sure a lot of people don't really know, like, what was going on for you about a year ago, say, maybe 13 months ago, August of 2013. What was going on? Um, in your life, did you have a business at that time? What was happening? So I I was inside of a business at that time. Um, I was unemployed. So many of you heard that I I was laid off in March, March 29th. Actually, I don't know what, what it is about the 29th, <laughs> but March 29th. It was Good Friday. Okay, I'll uh, never forget. It was actually Good Friday. So if you know, I think it was March 29th, but it was Good Friday, right? And it was a it was absolutely a Good Friday for me um, because I turned in my keys. I was actually um, laid off, and I have been. It's funny because I've been paid for over a couple of months. They were still paying me. Like it was really interesting way I was I was exited out. But <clears throat> so I was uh, unemployment. Okay, around about August though, I was in a business, and but I was determined about I wasn't going back to a job. Okay, like flat out, like um, I, I'm not doing it. Right, and I'll figure out. Let me tell you something that, that's really funny. Many people don't even know. Like I had put out on egg, um, ads on Craigslist. I was gonna watch kids at my house. I mean, it was it was just. I was like, there's got to be a way for me to create an income from home, um, and it's on my terms. And so I I thought to myself, because you know I'm always thinking, right? Yes. <laughs> I watch it myself. I said, well, there are some single parents who need childcare at night, right? Because you know, most daycares are open, you know, and they're not, you know, to get childcare at night, it's hard to do that. So I thought, well, hmm, how, I could just, you know, keep kids at night and, you know, and, and alleviate and be a solution to a problem, right? Because that's all the business is. So I had put out an ad, an ad on Craigslist and it was like, you know, I was going to do that. Um, but I was determined. I was not, you know, I was not going back to a job. I had told my husband, he thought I was crazy and everything, but, I was determined. I got a letter actually about, I don't know if it wasn't when they send the letters out, but needless to say, I got a letter that I was on um, the emergency unemployment was actually going to end. So, and it's probably about August, September, because that was going to end December 28th, 2013. Never forget it, right? Wow. Right, right, Christmas. right, exactly. It was like your last, you know, unemployment check is going to come. Oh. And and so at that point, I I even some I'd even um accepted a job. You know, I don't know if I even talked about this, but I was doing some contract work because I have an IT background, and I was doing some contract work. Well, they ended up this contract company ended up in offering me a position to to work with them, right? To come on staff. I had you know 
thought of, you know, they, you know, offered me the job. I had even signed the papers. I had done all this stuff. And so I was supposed to call and connect with a mentor. Um, and I just was like, I just can't do this. I, I mean, I would literally toss and turn at night and I was just, I was agonizing so bad over the fact that I was going to go and take this job. And I just said, this is just, it wasn't for me, right? It's just not for me. And I ended up, I send them an email and I tell them, you know what? I'm sorry. I cannot do this. I can't start. Um, you know, due to some family things, I can't make it. And it was, you know, it was like uh, my health and everything was being compensated because I had, you know, I was doing something that I wasn't supposed to do. So right. it's not an easy thing. And, I, you know, some people are, you know, working now. And I'm not saying to you to go quit your job next week because that's not what you should be doing. Um, but I just knew it wasn't, you know, it wasn't for me to be doing right then, right? There was another way. So that's where I was last year. Wow. So you have an IT background. So mm -hmm. you are a college graduate. So here's my question. Here you are a college graduate with an IT background, yet you were also an entrepreneur. So how did this happen where at one point you start to pursue something besides, um, you, you know, your academic background? So when I looked at, when I looked at my, my path, okay, because I actually ended up having a son. Um, so my, I have a son that's 14. I know you guys probably have tried to do calculations and try to figure out now. I've only been married um, for seven years, okay? <laughs> We're going on seven years, all right? Joshua's 14 years old, right? But his father is Leonard. <laughs> so, so, at some, so Leonard and I were actually together, you know, and when we were young, not young, young, right? But we were younger, and we ended up having Joshua. Well, we ended up splitting up. We went our separate ways and everything. I went off to finish college um, and, you know, do some other things. And um, Leonard went his, his separate way. Um, and so for me, I had to do something. I told someone this yesterday. I had to pick a career that, I, one, I knew I could make a ton of money, right, <laughs> because I'm a woman. I had a son. And I said that, you know, my son would not suffer a lack of anything, Okay. And I literally, I went to college, um, I ended up, it took me 10 years, I'm not lying, 10 years to get a four-year degree, and when I finished the last two years, I literally was going to class, I drove 160 miles a day to finish wow. college, okay, I would drive 40 miles um, from my house, from where I was living in Louisiana to my school, it was 40 miles, right, one way, and so I would drive, I would drive to school, um, you know, to school in the morning because I would take classes all day. And I, my mom actually kept Josh. I would drive to school and I would stay at school all day and then I would go back um, to home where Josh was. So that was 80 miles right there, right? Then I had a night class. So I would drive back to the school at night. I would sit through a night class and then I would drive back home. So some days I drove 160 miles to get to, you know, to finish my degree, but it was because I was determined, you know, I was determined, anything I've done in life out, I've been flat out determined, right? My parents knew from birth, you know, they say, you have been, you've been a child, we knew whatever you wanted to do, you were going to do that, <laughs> right? And that's, you know, and that's really, that takes the entrepreneur, that's the entrepreneur spirit, right? That you have a dream, you have a goal, and you do whatever it takes whether it's, whether it's you running out your, you know, you know, tearing up your tires, because my tire, can you imagine what my tires look like doing that and the amount of gas and everything, you guys, and I didn't care, right, because I said, I'm going to get my degree because my son did not ask to come here, and I didn't want to give him no lame excuse about I'm a single parent and this, that, and the other, and, and, and you know, and let me say, his father has always been supportive, so it wasn't that. I needed, you know, that Leonard was like, you know, gone off and, you know, no, but I just knew I wanted to give him, um, you know, a better life than I had, you know, than he could even imagine. And so, so that's why, you know, I started, I really was in school. That was the only reason I got, you know, to finish that, honestly. But, um, so, so that was my school, you know, my school, you know, why I did that. You, when did you first start becoming an entrepreneur? So I, um, like I said, I, I didn't really, you know, I always, I always, um, 
I always liked, you know, the idea, right? Let me say this, the idea of being my own boss, but I never really understood, you know, for me it was kind of like, you know, I, I didn't have the money to do a, a McDonald's franchise or, you know, or any any business that I knew. And then I, I wanted to have like this boutique at one time, but I was like, you know, the cost to get a brick and mortar building to, I didn't know how to import the shoes. You know, it just was so many pieces that I just couldn't, you know, put together. And then I was introduced to the, the network marketing industry. Right, and so my brother introduced it to me, and I found out that I could start a business, a home-based business, and I started mine for about five hundred dollars, and and so I was like, wow, so I can start my own business for you know for five hundred dollars, and and you know not, I don't have to spend you know tens of thousands of dollars. So that's really where I I, I learned that it was actually possible for me, right, to actually be a business owner. Wow, so. You were in other businesses before, and I should stop one second just to say that this interview is going to be interactive, everyone. You're going to have the opportunity to ask Keisha your questions, but I want you to hold on to those questions to the end because there are a lot of things I want to quickly cover with Keisha, but I want to give you the moment to pick her brain because this is probably the one time you'll be able to pick the brain of a six-figure earner for free. So if I were you, I would stay tuned to the very end so that you can get your opportunity to ask those questions to Keisha personally. So my question to you, Keisha, is, so you were in these other businesses before. Did you have any kind of success in them? <laughs> um, you know, absolutely none. Nothing that, you know, <laughs> you know, I just was like, I don't know. I was you look at some of our tracks and network marketing, we'd be like, man, we are crazy. Like, <laughs> you know, to go from business to business and, you know, but we have dreams, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and um, so I really didn't see much success in any of the, any of them that I've been involved in um, to this, to this point. No. No. I have a big list. I tell people, I don't, I, you know, when I came into, you know, to DS, I didn't have a list of like, you know, thousands of people um, to you know, shoot out an email. I held a conference call. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to this next deal. You guys come and join me, right? It wasn't that at all. I built from the ground up. <laughs> so no success before. So what do you think were your biggest obstacles back then with the with whatever the business opportunities you were in? Um, flat out, I'll be honest, and I can tell on myself, I wasn't the right person. Mm. Okay. You know, I, I can be honest. I wanted money. Right, and that was that was the only thing that I could see, and that was the only thing. All I saw was the circles on the board, and if two people got two people, then you know, you know, then I would be rich, right? I just needed to recruit a big leader, right? And then you know, I'll be you know rich. I spent no time studying. I spent no time in personal development. All I spent time was you know, you know, how to get more money, 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 and it really, I never, you know, even though our industry talks a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot about really growing yourself as a person. I really didn't spend that time doing that. I mean, honestly. So it wasn't, it had nothing to do with any of the businesses. They were all, there's people in every one of the businesses that I, I've been in that have made, you know, massive success. So it can't right. be the business, right? Um, right. I just wasn't the right person at the right time and in the right place. That is really important. I think a lot of us we tend to just see the money and we don't understand that there is there is a track to that there is there are certain things you have to do you have to develop and i wonder if when you came across ds domination do you think part of your success was that you had developed what do you think was um, what made you successful in ds domination definitely i i spent a lot of time uh, even before ds came along i spent a lot of time um, you know, with personal development, I learned a lot about you know different motivational speakers, and I and I would literally you know in my ear mostly all of the day I would have something going you know in my ear that I was I was constantly growing myself. I got involved um, I got involved with a um, with a group that they just study they can grow rich right every single day they have a call. And they are they're reading Think and Grow Rich, and they're actually you know studying and talking about the principles. They're masterminding, all right, about the principles. And I started to learn that I can literally speak my world into existence. So I began to write out what it is that I wanted to see financially, 
um, the things I wanted to see in, in different areas of my life. And so I would, you know, like I tell you, what you constantly, when you can, what you continually hear, you will eventually believe. So the things that I was saying, and, and, and I mean, even on my, in my bedroom now and on my, um, in my bathroom, I have these post-it notes that are, that are everywhere, right? So I just began to look flat out crazy to the family because I just, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm reprogramming myself, you know, seriously. And now, but, you know, and it was, and I was like, my, my husband's going to think I'm crazy, but, and so I put all the, I had all these post-it notes, right, all over my, you know, and I, I was so nice, right? I only put them on my side of the uh, mirror. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'll just cover up like one side of the mirror. And so I covered that whole thing, um, you know, with, with affirmations, things that I said to myself. I, I did a vision board. I had I hadn't done a vision board since I left school. Right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, you know, the career choice, the career board they have you do, yes. and you put all these I have one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hadn't done anything like that since I left school. And so I took the things that I was learning, and as imperfectly as I could, or as I, you know, I did them, right? So when I, I heard a, a, a six-figure earner say, you know, do this vision board, and in, of course, in his training, he taught you to do it, and you had to do it like 3D, and you had to do it was all this stuff, right? I said, okay, Keisha, just get it done, right? Just do what you can do, because if you try and if you if you try and do a 3D one right now, you're stuck, right? Because you're saying, well, I don't know how to get the grass on here, you know? And I said, no, just get the thing done. So I just did an imperfect vision board. And just, you know, because I, I begin to learn that whatever I, I didn't get what I want, I got what I pictured. So I just started putting stuff in pictures and put it all around me. So then I just saw it. It just, you know, I just used that sight sensory, you know, to get things inside of me. So, yeah, Val, it's, it's you know, it's definitely been a journey, but it's been, well, it's been great. I think I'm going to ask you the question that everybody wants to hear. How did you do it? <laughs> How did you make figures in less than a year? What were your methods? What were your strategies? Please tell me, tell me, tell me. What did you do? What did you do? What, what was the biggest thing that took off for you? What did it? What did it? Okay, so. What did it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, um, so first of all, I follow instructions, okay? So I'm, I'm very, I'm very coachable, okay? And, and so there are, you know, you have to, when someone tells you something that will, will take your life or your business to the next level, then you just do it. And so, first of all, I, I, took, I took action. I took massive action, right? So, so every, day, every day I had, when I got into this business, um, Reginald Stinson, which, who is the founder of the Unit of Prosperity, um, not the founder of DS Domination. Right, 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 right. <laughs> He's not the founder of DS Domination. <laughs> uh, but I ended up, Val, um, he ended up, we ended up connecting. And many of you don't know, or maybe you do know, that Reginald's not my sponsor, okay? But Reginald began, he took me under his wing, and, and, he, and I, I, I began to be his shadow, basically. And so Reginald told me some things to do. He said, Keisha, you have to get exposure, right? It's, it's not about posting a video one time, you know? It's not about posting a Facebook status one time. It's about you have to do enough to get massive exposure. And so I took, I took that, right, along, because that's a skill set. See, see, everybody wants to just focus. Their mindset is good. Let me tell you, you know, you have to see yourself as a six-figure income earner before a six-figure shows up in your bank account. You have to see that, right? You, however you do that, I wrote $20,000 on my little crazy vision board that I showed you guys in my training, right? I just wrote it on there, $20,000, because you have to see it, right? I don't care if you have to put it on your, um, your laptop, right, where you log in um, every single day, right, because that's something you're going to get on that computer. So you might as well have something on that computer that's visual, that will work. You don't think it's working, but it's absolutely working for you guys. I right. know it is. Okay. I put the Range Rover on my on my desktop, and literally, I was at football yesterday. You guys, I saw a I man two, three Range Rovers out in the parking lot. They come to me. I see them everywhere. I'm just like, okay, who do I need to connect with to get the Range Rover? Come on, guys. This is crazy, <laughs> right? I mean, I see these things like all the time. And so it's the same thing with anything that you want in, in life. So those of you who want to see six figures, then you should be writing that. I am a six-figure income earner by, 
right? And, and have a, because that's goal setting, right? That's, that's putting a time on, on, okay, when am I going to do this, right? And not try to figure out, okay, well, how am I going to be a, how am I going to do that? That's kind of crazy, right? And see, that was what, you know, Reginald said to me when we first connected. The first thing he said to me is, you're going to be a six-figure income earner in this business. And I'm thinking like, what? <laughs> like, what, what, huh? You know, but I just took it. I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to take that, right? And I, that, that's, that became my, my mantra. I'm a six-figure income earner. So now, Val, I'm moving from, from you know, a six-figure year. Because, you, know, you know, I mean, honestly, in, in, this, in our industry, you know, six figures, that's, yeah, you know, it's cool, right? So now I'm like, okay, I want to do this monthly, right? I don't want to just do six figures in a year. What about monthly? Now I, I got to dream bigger, right? I got to raise my belief system, you know, and all kind of things. Um, but I don't try to figure out how I'm going to do it. Not, not a single day. And now things come to, you know, come to me. Courses, programs, coaching, different things come because now money like speed. And so it speeds things up. The faster you move, like you, those of you who sit on things and you can't make a decision, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not going to make money. You got to be able to move with speed. So like when, when specials and bonuses happen, you know, like in the business, you know what? You got to move, with, you know, move with speed. Money like speed. And so the quicker you can pick up that energy, Right, because it's energy, and the quicker you can move it faster, right? That's why we tell you when you first get started, list as many items as you can. Because seriously, if you can pick up the energy and, and it moves faster, money comes faster. So I'll never forget Jennifer Glidden told me, she's like, Keisha, you know what? You're, the second six figures will be much easier because you've already done the first six, right? So now it starts to move faster. And I, I kid you not, I, I could look at my, and I don't really, you know, check my back office all the time, but I'm, I'm probably you know, halfway to another, t to the 200,000. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just how money works. And when you learn how money works and how, you know, everything functions, you know, that's the thing that I started to study, you guys, is how, how does this stuff function? How does this stuff work? How does my mind work? You know, and I even got, I even listened to, uh, we ended up buying, and in value remember the Leadership Council, we ended up buying um, Eric Worre's GoPro okay. home study course, okay? Yeah. Yes. And it was worth every dollar. If I only got one thing out of that home study course, one, I listened to, um, I think, Holton Bugs. Yeah, Holton oh, Bugs. Yes. I would listen Holton to him Bugs. every single day. You guys, I listened to him so much, my kids knew the CD. They began to recite the CD. My four-year-old at that time could yeah. recite what was happening on the Holton Bugs CD. He said, get a pillow speaker. And then at night, you still, you want to um, have this pillow speaker playing things into your subconscious. I went and bought a pillow speaker. I, at night, I would start playing things into my ear. I would say that smart, ambitious people are always calling me to personally sponsor them into my network marketing business. There's things that I would just keep saying. Right? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just, just what I, it's just what you have to do, Right? So, and I am, you know, and invest, you know, to get to six figures, you got to invest money in yourself. Right? All the time. All the time. If I look back at how much money, seriously, like how much money I've invested in myself this, you know, in this year, you know, I've invested quite, you know, quite a lot in, in me, you know, but I look at it now as an investment. It doesn't cost. I don't actually, but how much does that cost? No, I'm investing in me, which is the greatest asset that I have. This, I'm the greatest asset I got, <laughs> you know, me and my mind. So, so anyway, so yeah, so that's how you do it. You got to see it first, right? And then take massive action, whatever it is that you're doing, and, and you know, learn the skill set. Become better and better and better at whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, regardless of if you're in de -estomination, you know, you got shakes, you got makeup, you got, you know, unique lashes, thank you, you know, to the sponsors, <laughs> unique lashes, you know what I'm saying, so whatever it is that you're doing, you become the, you become really good at, at, at being you, <laughs> you know, become really good at being you, and then really have a great skill set, you know, master your skill sets, right, and that's what, that money comes to you, so I don't, you know, I don't have money problems, I mean, you know, I can just, Print it, right? What's the problem? <laughs> What's the issue? Think, you know, think. I just tell people, think. So, so Keisha, yes. people want to look at you. And mm -hmm. here you are saying that before you got into DS domination, you were not an, a success. You never had success before. But then you hit DS domination, and it's like, 
speed up, and it becomes, well, next thing you know, everyone knows Keisha Bass. So do you consider yourself to be an overnight success? <laughs> it's like, um, no. Like, no, it's, it, it didn't happen overnight, although it may appear to be. Right. And it may appear to be, but I actually got, you know, I got started in in um, in network marketing and internet marketing back in 2008. Wow. Okay. Wow. In 2008. And the funny thing is, is that when I got started back in 2008, um, I, a leader that I still, to this day, I, I totally um, think she's the greatest ever, she told me, um, well, the whole group, she told us to read this book. <laughs> read a book. Read a book. And, <laughs> read a book. And you know what, Val? I didn't want to read a book. I wanted money. So I put the book on the shelf. Right. And never and, and I actually actually to be perfectly honest with you I just picked the book up again because she's talking about it again and I said you know what I won't miss it this time because <laughs> she's gone off and produced a million dollars okay so I want to produce a million dollars so guess what I said I won't miss it this time you know and I, I thought about it I was like you know maybe if, what if I had done what she said to do back then right so you know some of your some of your mentors and your leaders are telling you to do stuff right now, and you're gonna kick yourself, you know, when you know you you're watching this interview and you you think I'm you think I'm playing like you know I'm just like I've you know got these rehearsed questions or something like that, but it's really gonna be about you know you growing you, and and the thing and the cool thing about when you were saying, I thought about it, I was like well you know what I was a success I just didn't see myself. As a as a success, right? Because I'd done a lot of stuff, you know, before I got into this industry, that was very successful, right? Inside this industry, you know, I hadn't really done I hadn't done what this industry requires to see success, right? I did what in IT. There's requirements that you have to achieve success, you know, and you don't even have to go to college yet. I went above and beyond what they require for success. The network marketing industry, the internet marketing industry, requires that you have mindset and skill set. I didn't want to do it that way. <laughs> I just wanted money. So therefore, I didn't see success in the industry in which the profession that I was in because I wanted to do it my own way. And my way just didn't work. It flat out doesn't work. So, so <laughs> with that said, what do you feel... Because everybody always asks this question, what is the secret? What is the secret? What is it that you're not telling us? Um, what is the secret to your success, Keisha, if you would call it a secret? What is the number one thing you would tell anyone who is even on the fence at this moment, joining uh, you, joining DS Domination, joining any business? What is the, what is the advice you would give to someone that will help them put them on the fast track to success. I, I would say the secret to, the secret to my success, right? And, and we all have we all have different secrets. You know, you get Reginald on here, you probably have a different secrets. Some other people have different secrets, right? But, but the secret to mine is a re, is really I have a faith, you know, that I, I believe, right? Um, I just believe that it's possible for me. To, to do and to be, you know, whatever it is that I want. And so when I got into this business, and I said to myself, you know, I'm going to give it my all, right? So help me God. <laughs> I don't have anything to lose. And so I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it 110%, you guys. And I didn't, I didn't get in and then, you know, wake up, you know, a week later and then I messaged my sponsor, oh my God, you know, I haven't made any sales. This doesn't work. You know, I didn't, I didn't start this crying match or whatever because I took, I knew my, it was about me, right? right? This business was all about me. It had nothing to do with my sponsor. Thank God for her. I thank God every day that she right. brought me here and, you know, mm -hmm. delivered the information. She did her job. She did everything she was supposed to do. Um, and, but I knew that it, it, I am, you know, I'm the secret, right? Everything, I am the secret. But I say, you know, having, having faith in, in yourself, you know, faith that you can you can do this. I always tell people, you know, this system works, right? And and it, and it doesn't matter what company you're in. And I, I can I can talk across company lines. The the system in your company works. 
but you know you have to just know it's not going to break because you joined the company. Right. <laughs> That's why I tell people, you know, does this still work? It's not going to break because you joined, right? It still works. It's going to work tomorrow, and the next person that joins, it's going to work. But if you don't have faith that it'll work for you, then it's not going to work for you. So that's the secret. So now I'm going to ask you another question that people are dying to know. <laughs> Keisha, what is your million-dollar schedule, your road <laughs> to multiple six figures? What do you do? every single day like can you map out your day even if you can take us by the hour I mean just <laughs> oh what God. it is that a six-figure earner does every single day or five days a week whatever <laughs> five what is week, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody I saw that question I was like everybody wants to know what do I do well you guys have to understand first of all I don't work a job okay so I have way more flexibility of schedule than most people do Right? That's the first thing. So just know that if you work a job, you can't compare your schedule to my schedule because right. I don't have that. I, I don't, you know, the only thing that requires me to get out of bed at a certain time is my kids. Right? That's, that's it. I don't, you know, that's it. Um, but lately, okay, I'll tell you what I do. I'll tell you what I do now. Okay? So I generally don't, on Mondays, right? I generally don't, I don't, I'm not present. I'll be honest, just be flat out honest with you. Not as far as taking calls and different things. Mondays are more of a day for me to, like, you know, really see what, what am I doing this week? You know, what's going on this week um, to really map this out? I do have an assistant that works, you know, that works for me. So we, we generally get on the phone on Mondays, and we talk about, you know, what's, what's going to happen this week. You know, who am I on the phone with? What's going on? You know, and what, you know, if I have a radio show, you know, just different things. We're talking about that. I'm setting up, um, I usually do my videos, right, for the week. Okay, I can do those all on Monday, right? You you uh, you can you can chunk work this you know chunk your work up into you know so that you're not like waking up tomorrow and you're like okay when am I going when am I doing a video about today? Oh my God, what you know? Because now you're in the you know you're the pressure is on right, and you can't think of anything, um, and so it helps you if you chunk your work up. So this is the one thing, and I recommend those of you who work full time, part time, half time, no time, chunk your work. So all the emails for the week, because you should be writing two emails a day, right? Chunk that up. Do that. Sit down and, and say, okay, this hour, whatever day of the week you decide. I mean, like I said, Mondays are a day for me. Um, Monday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all you know, the videos. And you shouldn't be doing but two to five minute videos anyway, so it shouldn't take you all day to do that. So you can literally two hours at night when you get home from your job, you spend one hour and, and you know one hour you know maybe setting up your emails, um, and then the next hour you spend doing your videos for the entire week. So you so that's that's out the way. There's some things that you guys know that are going to happen every week. The hangouts that are going to happen every week. The um the the um webinars they're happening every week. So those emails and things are just a given. So some things you can just fill in. You know even if you want to get a Excel spreadsheet, right? And I kind of work like that. Like I have my emails. Like what am I going to post on social media? Because I have people that are helping me. So I have to be a lot more organized with what's going on through the week. I can't be winging it like I used to. And I'm going to tell you, when I first got started, I was winging it. Right? I did stuff whenever I wanted to because my personality type I know is a blue. And so because I know that I'm a blue personality type, I just like to have fun. I like to have parties. I like to do, you know, I just like to have a blast. Right? I never, you know, me getting organized, that's a like oh my god so so when I tell you it's not an easy thing for me I am so serious I've invested money listen to this now I have invested money and in learning how to be more organized so those of you who are struggling with your schedule spend some money and buy a course or buy a book you guys see I just bought a book the other day getting things done and like I said although I, I outsource a lot of stuff I do. I don't. If I don't have to do it, I ain't doing it. That's just flat out. You know, you gotta. You either got time or you got money. Well, so, here's the question then. Yes. Go back a year ago then, or maybe ten months ago, you were. Oh, God. So what was your schedule like about ten months ago? <laughs> what ten were you months doing ago. Ten months ago. Seriously, ten months ago, I get up. You know, my kids have to be at school for eight thirty, right? 
So um, I get up around between 6 and 6.30. You know, I get up. Um, sometimes it's not till 7 o'clock. I just be flat out on. It's sometimes not till 7 o'clock. And I would, you know, I'm going to take them to school. Okay. I'm coming back home and, and I'm doing two videos a day. Right. I'm doing two emails a day. Right, and I would do that, every, you know, every single day. Those things would be be done. I'm posting on social media. I was connecting with people through the chat box, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's how I my day, you know, my day was. Then I, my kids get out of school at three thirty, so I gotta leave the house by three o'clock. Okay, so everything I'm doing, then I'm, you know, three o'clock, boom, done. Then I gotta go pick them up from school, come back, you know, come back to the house. Then we do, you know, do some things depending on if we have sports. You know, there's a lot of things that go into that. They have sports or not, and then once they're in bed, you know, because I'm still like probably engaged from my phone, you know, maybe if we're having a hangout or there's a webinar or something like that, then I'm cooking dinner and the, the laptop's in the kitchen, right? And I'm listening and I'm, you know, I'm maneuvering, seriously. And so, um, and then once they go to bed, you know, at, you know, between eight and nine, then I'm up. And, and when I first got started, Val, I literally was up till about two in the morning, two, three. It may be two or three o'clock in the morning that I was up, whether it's I'm training, you know, whether it's I'm learning something, um, whether, you know, I'm writing, whatever it is I'm doing, whether I'm listing items. Because at that point, 10 months ago, I was very heavily listening on eBay, right? So I may be researching items um, and different things. So, so that's, you know, how I would, you know, the, the unstructured day. I learned that that was not the skill set of a millionaire. <laughs> as much as I liked it, you know, or didn't like it, that's not the skill set of a millionaire. I learned that millionaires are very organized. And so I found a millionaire mentor and I invested my money in her training. And she's teaching me now as well. I'm still learning how to be organized, how to organize my life so that it makes for mass productivity. So that's what I did. You hit another question I wanted to ask. Uh <laughs> you mentioned mentors. Oh, okay. yeah. This is a big deal because I know a lot of people are looking for mentors. So one thing, it's, it's a two-part question. One, a mentor. Is a mentor someone that you're going to reach out to all the time or is a mentor someone you're going to emulate? Um, and, you know, what do you do? And the other thing is, who are your mentors? Who do you follow? Who do you look up to and why? Wow. So first, what do you consider a mentor? What is a mentorship relationship like? And so a mentorship relationship, I have, I have um, you know, lots of mentors. Many of them is from afar off, right? So I just, I really stalk, right? They, it, you know, wherever they, wherever they are, not necessarily physically, but if I find out, you know, that they're doing something on, on a webinar, right? I go and learn. Right? I go and in, in, you know and learn. I do what they you know what they what they tell you to do, right? And I, you know I watch their videos. I watch their blogs. How, wherever they are, then I I am there. I'm a student. I'm learning from them. They do a hangout. I'm on the hangout, right? And these and most of my mentors are not even in the company that I'm in, right? They're in you know they're in other companies. Uh, but that's what a mentor, and it's not someone I don't I don't you know send them messages on Facebook you know and stuff and like hey you know can you show me how to do this. You know, no, because my first mentor, my first online mentor is one that teaches you, you go and you figure it out. That's what you do. That's what a CEO does. A CEO does not need to call the receptionist all day long, you know, or, or call, you know, that's not what they do, right? A CEO gets it done. And so that's what I learned from my first mentor is, that, is I have a get it done type of personality. I, I, you know, I can go to YouTube. I tell people, YouTube University, anything I want to learn how to do, I could find it on YouTube, and my mentor taught me that. So who are some of your mentors? Who are some people that you follow and why? So my first mentor online, I'll tell you, is Tracy Walker. Uh, I've been, you know, following her since, you know, 2008, okay? Um, she is, I say in the, in the network marketing industry, I feel like I've seen a lot of people in network marketing, and it's just, I like the way she runs. A, she runs it like a business, right? She's a business owner, so of course she would do that. And I and I just felt like she really taught um, how to have a real a real business and not a hobby. So she's one of them. Nicole Cooper is another another uh, mentor that you know I followed her from from far off for many years. I just you know like I said, I just found out the things that they were doing, and I would just follow from afar off. But they said they mentioned something on a hangout. 
or something about a book that they were reading, I'm going to buy the book, right? right? And they said, you know, hey, I was in this training with such and such a person. Okay, I'm going to go look up that training, right? What's, what, what's this training about, right? Um, and, and that's, you know, really, really how mentorship is, is a mentee actually does what the mentor says and gets results. Because if you want to get the attention of your mentor, right, then go out, take what they say, do what they say, and then you come back and say, look what I did. You, t you said do this. And look what I did, right? But you know, for some hard reason, um, I have people that come and they want you know to be mentored, and they haven't done you know what I, what I've already said, right? Because I tell people like I have video hangouts where I've I've like gone through in detail about how to do most anything you want to do, right? It's I've probably done it. So go out and get the information, right? Try it, then come back and ask questions. Hey, you said do this. So how do I, you know, I, I, I really, I've tried it, you know, and I'm not able to, you know, I've, you know, I'm exhausted my resources. I need some help on this. But that's how I look at mentorship. Um, is that I do, you know, I, I just follow. So and Danny Johnson, you know, I really like, I like her. Um, I, I, I've been following her for years, probably since 2008. She's put out some of the best content. She has some of the best conferences and everything. Yes. Um, and you know her, you know, she's. She's awesome, right? She's a woman, you know, and making it happen inside of this industry. So, and 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 I like the fact that you know she's taking it outside and not just she didn't just stay inside of um, network marketing. And that's really what I desire to do. I don't want to be in network marketing all my life, right? It's just not something. I have a bigger goal, a bigger right. vision than just um, what I'm, you know, than now. But this is awesome. I'm not gonna, you know. D dismiss or dis you know downplay anything I'm doing now. I love every single minute minute of it, um, but I do have a, a desire to go globally, right, and impact women all over the globe. So, wow, awesome. Well, everyone, you've stayed with us for about forty minutes now, so <laughs> I'm going to pass this over to the floor so shortly, and I'm going to do it this way. Um, if you're watching below, um, if you're in the chat box. Start to post some of your questions that you have for Keisha, and I'm going to take a look over there in a minute and um, and kind of gather up the, the ones that are the most uh, prominent there. But Keisha, you talked about other things you want to do. So what's what's the future look like for Keisha? What is your vision for your for your future? Ooh, good stuff. So <laughs> I, <laughs> it really is. It's really. Uh, I'm really. I'm really excited. Things are. Things are definitely moving, and and I know that. Um, you know the power team and and things that I need. You know to actually take my uh, mission, my vision to to the globe. You know it's coming. It's coming to me, right? I desire to write a book. I am going to write a book. Actually, not. I desire. I'm going to write a book. I already have the book title, and I actually already have someone that's, that is assisting me in the background on this book who's an amazing person. Um, so I definitely want to write a book. Wendy Women Network um, is, you know, is is my baby, okay? It is yeah, my... Yeah, I'm sorry to stop you. <laughs> what was your motivation behind the Wendy Women Network? Oh, my goodness, what a question. What was your motivation? So I, you know, like I said, because I, I love, you know, family, and I, and I love together. I believe that we can do so much more. You know, together as a unit, like you know, unit of prosperity. The unit. You know, can, yeah, the unit. You know, we can do so much more um, together. We come together and we do it. And so I, I, I mess, you know, reached out to Reginald. I said, Reginald, you know, I have this burning thing about Winning Women Network, and he was like, Go for it. You know, you should absolutely do that. And and so I, I pulled together some ladies and was like, Ladies, this is what I, you know, this is what I envision. And I really hope that someday, Val, like seriously. Hopefully I can hire you for the show, okay? Because I definitely <laughs> want <laughs> I definitely want a show. I want a talk show, right? I want to spotlight and highlight, you know, women that are that are winning, right? And and as I was telling Val, I said, you know what, Val, sometimes we you know, I was I was trying to take a nap and I kinda of bounced from things you guys have to follow my conversations. Um, I was trying to take a nap before this, but I began to think about the winning women network, right? And I said, Some of you, some women just haven't been exposed to winning, right? They just don't, you just don't, you don't even see it, that you're already winning, right? So, so my job is to expose the wins 
So you can, you know, so that's why sometimes I post and the girl like, hey, who's winning today, right? Because see, we want, you know, to think that winning is, is hitting six figures. Right. <laughs> right? And that's the only winning we see. If you, you know, you may want to sell on eBay, hello, you're winning. If you woke up this morning, hello, hello. you are winning. You're winning. Right? If you are, you know, there's so many things that we're winning at that we are overlooking the small wins. But I, you know, for for winning women, I mean, I, I, you know, I was telling, you know, um, one of the uh, one of my dear sisters, I was like, you know what, I want us to go on a cruise, right? I want us to do workshops. I want us to have, you know, have events. Just as, you know, we're networked, right? And expose women, not just women in in network marketing, right? But there's women, you guys, that are not even online that they they need to hear from us, right? They need to hear our stories of how we made it over, okay? And I ain't gonna take y'all to church, but no, I can't. You know, they need to hear, you know, they need to hear your story, you know, they need to hear Val's story, you know, single mom, welfare, all that. And to go from, you know, from single mom to six figures, you know, online and the vehicle, you know, she used was internet marketing, was this, you know, was this company. But somebody just needs the hope and to know that if, you know what, if she did it, right, then right. surely I can do it. And then, you know, it, it you know, I, I just feel like it gives us a platform so that we can help other people. It's not just about us, but it's about other people. And that's my, you know, that's my ultimate goal is to be able to globally, you know, impact the world. And then when I, you know, when, you know, my, and I'm like, when I close my eyes and then at my funeral, I want people to say not that, oh my God, Keisha made a lot of money. Oh my God, you know, Keisha wore, you know, had Prada shoes and she did this and she had this luxury cars. No, I want them to say Keisha made an impact. I want there to be women, so many women that they can't even, you know, that it's so full, they won't even have a place to have it because there's so many women, whether I whether I talk to them individually or but uh, but if I could get enough people in a network, right? If I have enough women. If I have enough Valerie's, right, and if enough Valerie's are out there to touch some more Valerie's, right, and and if enough Keisha's, if I have enough Keisha's out there that can touch more Keisha's, you see what I'm saying? Then it doesn't have to necessarily be just me. It's a network of women all over that are impacting lives, you know, for the greater good of them, for the world, right? So that's... Okay. <laughs> I forgot to tell people to grab Kleenex. That was my, my mistake there. Um... <laughs> I got questions for you, Keisha. Yes. Okay. okay. So here we go. Okay. So we're gonna go back a bit into your eBay days. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> <We're gonna think laughs> that. I love so, them. So uh, we want to get an idea of how many uh, listings you placed placed on eBay, mm -hmm. um, and did you just have pro, or did you have the other levels of training? And, um, you know, was eBay the only platform where you sold? So first, how many listings a day? Uh, like I said, I didn't work a job. 10 to 20 listings a day, right? If it's 10, but I just say whatever you do, this is my tip for you all, be consistent. Okay, so if it's I'm going to list 10 items a day, list 10 items a day and win, right? And, and celebrate the fact that you listed 10 items a day. But be consistent. If it's five items a day, if you work full time and all you can do is five items a day, five good items. That's, you know, my um, one of my business partners was saying is Tiffany Adams. If it's five items a day and you make really good listings, you know, good titles, good pictures, and all that. If it's five, do five. But do what you can do. But I, I you know, for me, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have anything else to do. And so when I first got in, eBay was, you know, the first. That was the platform all of us were on, right? Um, right. At first, the first platform you're on is eBay. Um, but that's what I would say about that. And did you just stay at the pro level or did you have any other of the other products? Um, I, I did not. I probably stayed at the pro level. If I did a week or two, it, 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 I can't imagine it being that long. Um, because um, many of you know that as an affiliate, um, you're only paid for the levels you own, right? Right. And so I had people that were coming in, literally going all the way to the top. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Me no work for free, okay? Me no work for free, okay? <laughs> so I, I figured, and this, this too, this is another way. This is six-figure income talk, okay? If you're going to make six figures, you're not going to do it at the pro level, right? 
I knew I could compound my money. So if I had all the products, and then if I had, I'm doing the same amount of work, you guys. The same, I'm, it's the same amount of work to get somebody to come in at the 1995 level as it is to get somebody to come in at, at the monopoly level, right? right. It's just, you're going to do the same work. Right. So I figure, like, wait a minute. If I got all the products, and if this person, if the next person, because like I said, I missed some commission because I, I person, I didn't even talk to you guys to this day. I still don't, I still have not really connected with him. I never talked to him on the phone or anything. This guy came in, he saw the value, went all the way in. Okay, he got everything. I missed a lot of money. Um, I said I I wouldn't do that again. So as soon as I had the money to get um, elite. I went to Elite, and how I did it was my um, when I looked at my commission, and I said, you know, if I had, you know, once I made my commission amount was a hundred dollars a month, I upgraded, right? That was that was, you know, I upgraded. The next thing I said, okay, as soon as I get two hundred fifty dollars, you know, and I'm not gonna keep going through all the levels, but I just kept upgrading as fast as I could. I know I got in September 29th, and by Christmas I had everything. Christmas. I'm pretty sure, that. I'm okay. pretty sure by Christmas I had everything. That, all right, so that's only three months, and you had everything. Oh, yeah. I had okay. every single product. Okay. <laughs> so you started with Pro in September, um, and you said you think you stayed there for about ten, two weeks? And if then you I got, did. If even. And if then you not. went and got to Elite. All right. And then eventually after that was Unleashed, and then Monopoly came before Christmas. So in less than three months, you had all the products. Absolutely. All right. In my first and in val in my first ninety days in in DS, I had done by in my first ninety days I had done ten thousand dollars. I remember that. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yep. Yeah. I had done in a in a, yeah. I was pushing. I, I was not playing. I did not come to play. I didn't. How long did it take you to make six figures? And what keeps motivating you? Um. So the six figure mark, I and I could look back. I it was like less than ten months or so, maybe ten months. It took me to do. Yeah, it was quick. <laughs> yeah, because it was like after we came back from um, from the Vegas. event. Yeah, after so it, Vegas event was in May. It it began it began to move pretty quickly. Right, um, right. And you know, and it's all about exposure. That's why we tell you guys get on these hangouts and stuff, right? Um. Because it's really all about you getting massive exposure. When I came back from Vegas, and it was just like people were everywhere. Like I was just like, oh my god, someone's messaging me. You know, like I want to join your business. I want to join your business. Like, okay, okay, okay. And here's the link. Here's the link. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right? You know, it was just kind of like that's how it was moving. You know, it was moving for me at that point. Um, but yeah, so I would say that yeah, I got I got everything. Like as soon as I could. Um, I was like, I'm not playing with this. This is not a game. I I saw the money. That that was the thing. See, I see the vision, right? Because I was, you know, you know, quite honestly, we didn't really have the money to go all in, right? I'll never forget, you know, laying in in the bed, and I was telling my husband, I was like, babe, um, you know, and my husband didn't really understand internet marketing stuff, so I had to like really, you know, kind of break stuff down here, right? So I'm saying like, <laughs> babe, like. If if someone buys a product and we don't own it, and I said we, okay, so those of you who are wives, okay, this is a clue, okay, inclusion, you got to include him. I said, babe, if someone else buys it and we don't own it, then we lose commission on it. So, because yep. we were on one income, you guys, and like I said, we had, you know, the kid, the boys are in school, and we you know we had a lot of stuff going on, so we didn't have it physically. See, see what I'm saying? We didn't have it physically, <laughs> but because we came together as a couple and made a decision that we were going to get it. The money showed up. Okay, I hope you caught that. <laughs> we made a decision. We're going to get this. We absolutely we're going to get it. And he said he said, "Babe, you get it." There you go. You get it. And so I said, "That's all I needed to hear was his, you know, for him to say, "You get it." I said, "Okay, cool." You get it. What keeps motivating you, Keisha? Now, there's so much more life I have, you know, there's so much more I have to do, you know, there's so many more things, not that I have to do that, I, but I'm going to do, right, and, and, and so it takes money, okay, it takes money in order to, in order to, um, to, to build your vision, okay, in order to get 
um, to to be to be an impact in you know in the United States it takes money. I don't know any country is going to take it takes money. It takes a lot of money. There's you know and so for me that's a motivation for me to know that there's girls that are waiting on me, you know, to impact their lives. Right there there's there's people there's women that are waiting on my story. Right, I can't stop now. Right, I have a 14 year old kid. You know that I have kids that are like, you know, they're young. So and and right now my kids, you know, they're looking at you know me and my me and my husband. They're like, you know what? If they can do it, you know, my husband's a high school dropout. Come on now, and you know, but nobody would know it, right? I've always been blessed, gifted, you know, very talented musician. I want him to live his dreams, right? And as much as he, you know, he works and stuff now, but that's not his dream, you know. No. So, you know, that's that's motivating for me, you know, like that my husband has a studio that's paid for. He can do music all day if that's what he wants to do, right? That's what people wake up. That's what people, that's why people want to win the lottery, right? You right. do know that. That's why people want to win the lottery because they want to be able to do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it. That's freedom for, you know, that's freedom. Right. And so I just have found a way that I don't have to play the lottery that I can actually win big and I can help others win big. It's not even a selfish thing. It's that I can help others win big while I win big, too. Right. So that's my motivation. <laughs> so I have a question about the family. We haven't talked much about your family. We know that you're married, you have a handsome husband and two beautiful boys. So how has life changed for you and your family? Because a lot of people hear money, they see success, but, you know, it's all about what it can do for you. Like you said, having the freedom to come and go as you please. So how have things changed for you since March 29, 2013, 18 months ago, practically, when you got laid off? How have things changed for you and your family? Wow. Well, it's, you know, it's some days I really... Most days, not, you know, I pinch myself, right, because this time, what we didn't talk about is this time last year, um, the boys were actually getting ready to go to school, right, and, and they have a school that, you know, there's a certain uniform, I mean, and not, their school is not even like, there's not even a certain uniform, it's, it's you got to buy the shirts from a certain place, and, and it's called Land's End, <laughs> and if you shopped on Land's End, you know that everything on Land's End is, you know, um, lands in pricing. Um, and so last year we had to make decisions, you know, really on who was going to get how many shirts and who's going to get how many pants. And, and it was so, you know, this year was so different Val, because last year we waited to the last minute, honestly, to get, to get the clothes, you know, because, you know, we're, we're making decisions here on different things. Um, this year was so different. We ordered, you know, the shirts in advance. Um, we ordered the boys, you know, you know, we didn't, you know, we still didn't go and ordered, you know, five and six shirts because, you know, like I said, it's, you know, boys, it's the same shirt, right? But we had the money to buy the shirts. We had the money to buy the pants. We had the money to buy the, you know, the, you know, the utensils, the shoes, everything we needed, right? And, and now, honestly, you know, where we went from, you know, mortgage behind, okay, hello, when we got started in TS, our mortgage was behind. Yes, um, we go from we go from that from Struggleville, right? And you know, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously, with Struggleville. And and I was thinking about this earlier because I know you guys you probably hear me say like I had a six figure job, okay? But because I wasn't the right person, Val, I did not. I spent my money foolishly, right? I you know I just. I just did. I just spent my money foolishly, whether it was buying coffee from my Starbucks every day um, to, you know, to shopping, whatever, right? I spent my money foolishly, so then I didn't really save money like I should have. Like, now I'm learning to, okay, Keisha, you have to save money. you got to put a portion of that money away, right, so that you have, a, you know, a nest egg, a, you know, a savings account. So if you want to, like, why do you go from a six-figure job to now you're in a struggle field? That's how you do it. <laughs> right? That's how people go from being, you know, a lottery winner and having millions, a millions to down to, um, you know, get have an EBT card, right? Because if you don't become the right person, then it's, you just, you're just a fool with money. And that's what I was then, right? And my husband, I love him, you know, 
But, you know, he, he has a wife that he just kind of, you know, she's a free, free-flowing spirit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he like, well, babe, maybe you should, you know, maybe we should do this, you know. Uh, you know, and stuff. So, so, you know, not that, you know, he allows me to run over. I'm not saying that at all. But, you know, very <laughs> spoiled. Okay, so, you know, but, we you know, we're, we're getting things in balance, right? Everybody's becoming a better person. Uh, but that's, you know, that's, it was really, it was really hard. So now, like I said, I don't go and, you know, I, you know, you guys will see me. I have a, you know, I may buy, you know, a pair of Michael Kors shoe, shoes. I may buy, you know, a purse, but I'm definitely not, not, you know, throwing my money away to try to, you know, look like something um, and not have a savings account and not have a, you know, a plan for the future and stuff like that. I think you should, you know, I actually, I actually implemented what's called a spending account now. And so I take a portion of what I pay myself, okay, I take a portion of that and I put it into what's called a spending account. And so in that spending account is for me to spend. So I can blow it, right? I can go to the mall, I can blow every dollar in that spending account. But it's not anywhere connected to what, what my savings account or my bill account or anything, right? It's just spending because we've been, we've been brought up, most of us, you know, have, you know, have been brought up where, you know, it's like, well, money don't grow on trees and you can't, you know, you can't have that, you can't have that. And so a spending account will allow you to break that, right? So then it's like, you know what? If I see a $200 pair of Michael Kors shoes and it's in that spending account, <laughs> I'm, I'm going home with those today, right? You know, if, you know, so that's how you, that's how you balance things out. So that life has changed. Yeah, we make, we make great money, right? It's, it's, it's awesome. And then my husband still likes to work, right? So we still have an income from him, him going to work, right? So, but we, we now are people that, you know, we don't, you know, we, we live <laughs> like, you know, we live on a you know, balanced life. So, well, yep. we are past the hour mark, but I'm going to ask you one more question. Well, okay. well kind of two questions. What was your, what do you feel is the biggest, what was your biggest obstacle? and becoming successful within DS domination? What was your biggest obstacle and how did you overcome it? Wow. So I always, you know, I think one of the biggest ones was, you know, when I got started, and, I, and people have probably heard this story, um, when I got started, my eBay account on Christmas was, was uh, actually suspended. And I didn't actually know um, what happened. Right, I was just like, oh my god, like you know, it's Christmas. Who's at eBay today? You know, like, <laughs> you know that's kind of what I was saying. Like, who's at eBay today? Oh my god! Uh, but it took me two weeks. It took me two weeks to get my um to get my account back um, together. And I just said to myself, you know, um, with every six with every setback, okay, there is a seed of equal or greater success, okay? And for two weeks, I never said a single word about it, Val. I never, never even mentioned it online, right? Never had a sob story. I may have told you about it because, you know. I remember, you guys, you but I knew know. Keisha Bass, and I knew yeah. Keisha Bass was going to take care of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Val, you know, Val and I, you know, we, had, you know, we, we were in the crib together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we were crib mates, okay? And um, and so I just say, you know, we we you know we had you know I saw I saw the vision, right? And I just say, you know what, with every setback, and that's Napoleon Hill, you guys, and that's you know, like I said, when you become the right person, then things will happen, but they'll only be, they'll only come to show you who you are, right? The setbacks that happen in your business because they're going to happen. That that's a part of life. That's not that's you know that's just a part of the journey. Right. If I just, you know, swung through the trees and got to six figures and stuff like that, then, what kind, you know, it doesn't it doesn't prove you. Unfortunately, you know, we want, you know, that's just un, and that's just the way it is. Right. With anything, um, with marriage, anything. If I tell you, I would not sit down here and lie to you and say, oh, my God, marriage has been so awesome. Oh, my God, we've never had a fight. Oh, my God, we just get along <laughs> about everything. Right. It's like, no, that's not true. Right. We've had to grow. And even though we and we have a 14 year old so you know we know each other very you know like we have no we know each other like, you know what I'm saying? like, like um, but it's been a journey right and in the journey it, you know it is it's for our learning it's for our growing right we definitely um, so yeah so I, it's just been that was that was the most challenging thing to happen 
Um, but I just, like I said, I just say, you know, with every setback, there is a seed of equal or greater success. And I just said, what's what's the greater in this? You know, about I was like, what's the greater in this? There, you know, there's where's the greater? Okay. And I didn't focus on the setback. I just focused on the greater because I knew it was coming. Had to come. Had to. Last question. Um, okay. You said that was the last one last I time. know. I'm sorry, but uh, this one. <laughs> I'm just I'm sorry. Question. I'm so I'm so bad. <laughs> this is just so. Um, a lot of this I'll just let you know. It's just for my own purposes too. And so, um, <laughs> I'm looking for your knowledge too. But for anyone who's watching you, uh, for anyone who's been in DS domination even for a couple of months, for those who are just starting, you've given us tons of information. But someone who's in the thick of it, so to say, a couple of months in, maybe three months or so, and they're then they feel they're not where exactly they should be. They just feel like. Ah, you know, she just said she made 10,000 90 days. Ah, I can't even get to 1,000. What would you say to someone who feels they are just not where they should be at whatever point in their business? Um, my favorite quote is, comparison is the thief of joy. Okay? And so um, I always tell people, your journey is going to be your journey. Okay? My journey is, is my journey. Right, and I and how what I was able to do inside of the business, um, it's it, that's my journey. So you don't, I don't want you to compare um, what I did and say, okay, well Keisha did like this, then I should be able to do it just like she did. No, you you know that there is possible, you know, for you to do it your own journey style, okay. And so so get in the business, and you know, and things happen. You know, Pizza Hut, the Pizza Hut started. You know, you if you bought a Pizza Hut. Okay, you got all the stuff together, had your grand opening, blah blah blah, right? And then the next day, nobody came in to buy pizza. <laughs> Would you shut down? Like, no. You you've invested you've invested too much money and too much time into getting this in, into getting you know this establishment up. And so just because you pay you know nineteen ninety five, you know whatever you pay, right? So you know whatever you pay. Don't look at your business like, oh, well, it's just this, right? I, I told people from the jump, and they'll tell you, I say, you know, I got a million dollar enterprise I'm, I'm sitting on right here. This, is, yeah. this right here is big. And so that's why, you know, some of the things I didn't want to cut corners. I didn't want the shortcut. I figured, you know what, what however I got to do it, I got to do it. If, you know, this is the journey, this is the journey, right? Whatever happens, it's going to happen. Let the chips fall where they may, but I ain't going nowhere. Right? I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna ride this out to the very end. So, so that's you know that's what I would say to you. Just you know, and just don't give up. Right? Do not. Absolutely, do not. You know, don't give up. You know, become a better person through this entire process because being an entrepreneur, man, it's um, it's you know, it's mindset. It's a lot of mindset. So, how does Sean get on here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the. That's our cue. <laughs> right, okay. Well, there we go, everyone. Um, thank you, Keisha. Thank you so much for taking the time out to uh, share your secrets and share your story and share your ups and downs. I really, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Thank so, you. Thank you. <laughs> so for those of you who are watching, this is the end of our Winning Women Network. And tonight, even though we only featured one woman, it's just the beginning. There are so many millions of women out there who are achieving success, whether it be in our business or another business industry. But what you, uh, what you need to understand here, what you need to see here is that there is a journey. There's a journey towards your success, and it starts with you. It starts with what's inside of you. It starts with developing yourself and becoming the person you want to be. Now Keisha's had tremendous success and there are, it doesn't matter if you've made 10,000 90 days or you've made $10 in 90 days. If that's the first $10 you have ever made away from a job, your success is a success and they all matter and they all count. So I want to thank you all so much for being with us tonight. If you have any questions about DS Domination, there's a button down below. One that says uh, look uh, more information and the other that says join our team. And you should definitely get back with the person who invited you here.
because they sent you here because they care about you because they had something to show you and I'm sure you have gotten your money and your time worth tomorrow is Monday is our Monday Google night hangout Google hangout and you are going to hear from 10 amazing phenomenal people not just women but men who are going to show you exactly how they've managed to build an income from home so I want to thank you. Have a happy, wonderful Sunday. Enjoy your week, and we will see you next Sunday. Take care. Thank you. Um, Val, can I say one more thing? I'm oh, sorry. you know you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was, like, I was like, oh, my God. When can I stop her? I'm like, oh, my God. So, Val, thank you so much for, you know, for having me tonight. I, I totally appreciate you, and I just want to you know, publicly say just how, you know, how proud I am of you. Because, uh -huh. you know, those of you who are watching um, tonight, actually, um, Val is retiring. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay so Val is, Val is retiring. And so, and so I've invited, like, Val, I know you, this is an interview for me. Yes, it was. <laughs> I've actually invited uh, some people because um, we're going to have a retirement party. It's a <laughs> virtual a virtual retirement party. <laughs> We're having a virtual retirement party. And so if I can have my guests to go ahead and jump on, one of them jumped on and I was like, Oh my god, what are we doing? How are you serious? That's so, what's going yes, on. <laughs> this is actually actually I'm like, we are getting ready to party. So those of you who are here that stayed, okay, and I invited you guys, you don't seriously, Val, we're like getting ready to seriously like party, okay? Are you that, serious? I'm so serious. Val is retiring, you guys, next week. And this week, this week. <laughs> yes, she's actually putting in her her resignation. And we are uh, let me see where let me see where my um, party people are at. Are you kidding me, Keisha? I'm no. not kidding you. <laughs> I'm not kidding you at all. <laughs> I'm not kidding at all. Oh they're my. like sitting back, they're sitting back waiting on me. They're sitting in the cut. <laughs> They're sitting in cut. We actually have two people that are retiring. Val is retiring, and actually Sean added you. That's why Sean was jumping on me. Sean, uh, where are you, Sean? Sean, come back! Oh my goodness. Where? Uh, where? Uh, oh, goodness, this is so. Oh my goodness. So where is Sean? Oh, there he is, Sean. Yeah, sorry, I came a little bit too early. <laughs> Well, Sean, you came just on time because this is actually a retirement party, and it's for you too. Sean, <laughs> so surprise! Like three, two days away from the official <laughs> goodbye. Yeah, so Sean is actually a few days away from the wedding. We actually have. Hey, hey, that's Mr. Excitement. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Uh, we're yes, yes. yes. That is a party, guys. Now we have a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, oh, party. Party away. What's up, Dante? Oh, my goodness. Where's my <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Allie. <laughs> Sean, is Sean still oh there? He's like muted. Sean, Can I get some? Uh, oh God! We all have a glass of champagne or something. I know. Go get your glass of champagne. Oh my We're God, Riz! Yes, so Riz. Awesome. We wanted oh to say, God. you guys, we're just so excited um, for you guys' new, your new, uh, your new lives. Okay, you guys can enjoy. In the building, it. baby, in the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is so awesome. <laughs> oh so my we God. are. We oh are. My God. Thank you so much. This is so cool. Yeah, we're so God, now, now I need Kleenex Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so awesome. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God, so, <laughs> I'm so uh, I just found out, um, and Sean, I'll have to get your dates, but I believe Val is actually giving her notice on Wednesday. Yes. Um, 
And this yeah. is what happens in the unit, you guys. So I know this is like WWE ain't gone wild or something. <laughs> 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 like, I know there's usually not men on here, you know, but tonight <laughs> and only tonight will we allow them, you know, to get in. So anyways, you guys, Reginald Stinson is here. He is the founder oh, of the Unit of Prosperity. Hold on. <laughs> Reginald Stinson is here, the founder of the Unit of Prosperity. I would love for him to come out and say something. He started this movement, and um, all of our lives have changed because he is the hope giver, okay? So we all have hope because he gave hope. So come on, yeah. Alright. All right, can you all hear me? Yep. Yes. Yep. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't know. Is the camera on yet? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Well, I want to jump out and really congratulate you, Valerie. First of all, I'm going to start with you ladies first. I'm, I'm so proud of you. Um, words cannot even describe the joy that I have to actually see this day um, come, come to life for you, to actually come to pass, because I know it's something you've worked very hard for and very hard to accomplish. And I knew um, from day one that you were going to be a rock star. So to, to actually see this happen, I'm so excited for you. And I know there's greater coming your way. Um, I'm looking forward to you making your first million here really soon. I know that's coming as well. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep rocking. You are such an amazing person. And it's, it's just an honor really even to be here to speak and give these words of encouragement to you because you encourage me and you inspire me. Oh, goodness. Thank you so much, Reginald. You already know how I feel about you. Um, you have just truly skyrocketed my business. And when Keisha, when Keisha talks about listen to what people tell you to do, Reginald told me to do something, and that was that's all I needed to hear. And, um, and ever since then, you know, I emulate people who I look up to and sometimes when I can't think of things to post or say I will hop on over to Reginald's Facebook wall, I'll hop on over to Keisha's, I'll hop over to Carrie's and Dante's, you know, I I look at what other people are doing and Reginald is definitely, you know, when I think about people who have, who are a part of this day, Reginald is definitely at the top and he, you have no idea how much I, I love you, I thank you, how humbled I am that you just looked upon me and you said, a few words and you know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that I wouldn't be three days away from giving him my resignation so thank you so much and I really appreciate you being here I'm so freaking shocked <laughs> so thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much oh god my pleasure alright so um, and now I want to hop talk about Sean here really quick Sean <laughs> This guy, man, we fight all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know he gives me a hard time, but the reality is I know he listens. Um, I'm, I'm super excited for you as well. Man, um, I've seen where you've come from and how you've grown the past. I don't know how long. You've been in close to a year, I believe. It's real close to a year. And I'm excited for you as well. I know you're going to cross over to the six figures, to the seven figures and beyond. Um, even as, you know, the founder of the team, it's one thing that I learned from a millionaire <clears throat> in this industry. And he always said that if you're the smartest person in your circle of influence, then you probably need to change your circle of influence. <laughs> so a uh, lot of these people, I mean, these people who are on the council, uh, you as well, John, man. Super smart guy. I've learned a lot from you as well, and it's an honor really to share in this uh, with you as well, and to watch you walk off your job in the next couple days. And also, I think you're spending the, the winter in Florida, or something from Canada, to, to watch that to see your dreams come true, man. I, I'm so proud of you. Uh, just like I said, man, words cannot really describe how I feel. I mean. You know, I've never had anyone retire, so this is crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, that that's what's so amazing. I know we have guests here. That's what's so amazing. You know, we typically were in other companies, and, you know, me being a sponsor, I was the only one making money. So the real, to have you all, you know, to accomplish what you've accomplished in short a short time span and to actually live your dream, to take back your time, you know, money is cool because there's people that have, 
you know, great jobs that make a lot of money, but they don't have their time. Right. So you all have the best of both worlds now. You, you have your time freedom, and now you have that financial freedom. I'm, I'm super proud of you, bud, and I look forward to see what you do in the future, man. Thanks, bro. I, I mean, I really appreciate it. Uh, a, a lot of thanks to you guys and, and the whole leadership council here. Uh, this is a dream come true for me, uh, to be honest with you, to be able to just uh, provide a life for my family that I've always wanted to provide, but Reggie touched on it perfectly. Uh, I actually remember a conversation I had with my wife when I was driving uh, home from work about a year ago, and I told her that, you know, I was doing a lot of thinking about why I was so miserable at my job all the time. You know, I, I would get a new job, and I'd like it for a few months, and then I would just hate it. And uh, it, just, it really dawned on me that the one thing that I really, really disliked about my career was that I just didn't have the time that I wanted. And I so desperately wanted that time and that freedom to do what I wanted to do, when I wanted to do it, how I wanted to do it. And, and you know, DS domination and certainly being on the unit of prosperity has allowed me now to walk away from that, to be home with my family, to watch my daughter grow up. I mean. My daughter just started, uh, she's five months old, and she just started rolling uh, the other day. She's just rolling over from, from back to front, and I missed it. And, uh, you know, it was so heartbreaking. It was just like, you know, that that's why I need to be at home. I don't want to miss those moments. I don't want to miss those things, those, those little sort of things in life that so many people don't get the chance to see. And now I'm going to get to spend the rest of my life uh, growing up with my daughter and growing with my family and, and being able to provide a life beyond my wildest dreams. And, you know, Reggie, man, and, and the rest of you guys out here on the Leadership Council, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, being friends and being such a good team and, uh, you know, just believing in me and being there for me and, and, uh, and teaching me. Uh, to grow to the level that I've grown at, and I just I can't thank you guys enough, uh, and I'm very very excited. I got three more days of this stuff. October first is my last day, and uh, I'm very very excited about it. So thanks so much. Thanks for this too this evening. This is uh, absolutely humbling. Um, it's still surreal uh, that this is all happening, and uh, thank you so much. You were hard got to surprise, man. I'm like wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, asking too many questions. I'm like, crap. I don't know what I'm going to say to him like, to surprise you, man. So. <laughs> Thanks right, for I jumped out know. too early, too. I, I got jumped out way too early for this. Sorry. I was like, what? I'm like, I, I was like, oh, goodness. <laughs> I was like, is he, is he doing a hangout or something? What's going on here? <laughs> I was trying to figure out, like, how am I going to play this off? Because how would Sean get the link for our Winning Women Network hangout? <laughs> awesome. Who else wants to jump out? Carrie, Mr. Excitement. Oh, come on, man. Y'all pull me up. Y'all pull me up. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the comment time, baby. Ooh, let me say this like this. I gotta say it like this. Done struggling. That's how we do. Man, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. I am so excited about uh Sean. I'ma start with you. Because um, you know, Mr. I'm gonna just call you Mr. Mr. $28,000 Monopoly man. You know? Right? <laughs> You know, I, I really didn't get a chance to spend too much time, um, you know, you know, getting, you know, getting to know you and stuff um, from Vegas and everything. But you know, I'm really glad. You know, when I'm seeing, you know, people apply what, you know, what Reggie, you know, says to do, and take it to the next level. You know, seeing seeing the newborn, like a lot of, like a lot of fathers would love to be full time dad. You know, you miss that, you miss that first rollover, but you won't miss any more rollovers. Trust me. There's going to be a whole lot more rollovers that you're going to catch starting after October 1st. Amen. <laughs> so um, it's definitely been a pleasure. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing more of your training, you know, more of your leadership out there, you know, and just taking it to the next level. I mean, you know, I want to grow up and be like you, but I'm a, I'm a little bit too dark, so I can't get that light. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, but, man. 
Trust me, trust me, man. I, I'm I'm really excited um, that they put this retirement thing, uh, retirement uh, hangout together at at the end. Even though uh, Val almost shut it down <laughs> before we even get the key in the door and get in. But, um, <laughs> there's going to be so many more of these. This is the fir- this is the first of many, you yeah. know. And I, and I, I just can't wait. You know, you know, almost in tears over here. Just, just knowing that, wow, UOP members are retiring from their job thanks to DS domination, yes. and you, you, you guys are the first ones. You guys are the pioneers. You know, you know, you know, leading the charge as far as you know, getting it out there and and broadcasting it. So, Sean, I wish you the best. I can't wait to see all those pictures of of the little one, you know, growing up and and, and walking and all of that. And you'd be doing selfies like, you know, Reggie did with his daughter when, you know, so it, it's going to be great, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Now, down to Academy Award winner, if you guys <laughs> didn't know. Oscar nominations, if y'all didn't see her in Vegas, wearing the same royalty colors. If y'all didn't know, that's royalty colors she got on. That's royalty colors, man. Val. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, man. When you see the compilation video, uh, me and wifey did for you, and um, you and Sean, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna really laugh, man. But Val, it has totally, totally been a blessing. You know, it was such an honor seeing you up on the stage in Vegas, just, just looking like straight Oscar material right there. And um, you know, all your training, you, I mean, you killed it with the, uh, the, the two videos a day. You know, following Reg. See, I'm I'm a little stubborn. It takes a little while for Reggie's stuff to get in this ear and come out <laughs> the other one. So, um, I I love it. I love the tips that you give, the train that you give, and I watch your videos all the time. And um, you know, Mrs. Excitement, she did a she did a test you know testimonial for you, and meeting you at the meet and greet, the New York meet and greet, that was awesome. Um, I'm gonna have to hold it down here in, in the New York area. <laughs> Since you know you're not gonna be here, but you know I think I can hold it down. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, you know I, I can hold it down. But you're gonna be so missed, so so missed, you know. Um, and we're gonna have to come out there and give you that, you know, the house, the apartment, woman, house, one, whatever it is. Yes. Because you know, we're making money now. We can travel. Okay? <laughs> you know, we making money now. Okay, we ain't we ain't we ain't broke. So um, Val, it's been a, a plum pleasing pleasure. You know, as Les Brown would say, um, knowing you, meeting you in person, can't wait to see you at the next event, uh, DS Domination 2000, 2015, and um, it, it's just been a real, real honor. Thank you so much, and you know me and wifey's going to be, you know, copying you and um, telling, the, telling the job, you know, they can take this job and shove it. <laughs> you ain't working here no more. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Thank you so much, guys. Love you, Val. Love you, Sean. And I'll be seeing y'all. Carry Miss Excitement, Bronx, New York. Thanks so much. Oh, Carrie, thank you so much for that. Um, <laughs> meeting you in Vegas was just so awesome, you know, because, you know, seeing Carrie on, on, the, on the screen, nothing compares to seeing him in person. <laughs> and meeting him and meeting his wife, who's just so awesome, has been, it was definitely a highlight of my trip. And then having the pleasure to do an opportunity meeting with you um, here in New York and trying to rally the troops was just awesome. And you just, you just took over and you made it a wonderful, wonderful event. Um, but I'm, I'm going to miss New York because for those of you who don't know, I'm also moving. I'm moving away. I'm moving to Charlotte, North Carolina um, in about two months, actually. So um, a lot of things, you know, this wouldn't be possible without DS Domination also. It's something I've always wanted to do, and now I'm in a position to do so. But, you know, um, New York, I mean, Charlotte will be my new home. But but New York will always be my heart, and I'm definitely going to miss you, miss the opportunity to, to hang out with you some more, but I will definitely be back. So thank you so much, Carrie, for taking the time to be here. I really appreciate and love you. Thank you. Anytime, so anytime, girl. And so since you're leaving, I'm the new top income earner in New York. <laughs> Yeah.
You guys are so funny. Okay. It's so silly. <laughs> so, so, um, hey, yeah. I was just I was gonna jump on real quick and just say, um, you know what, Sean and Val. For those of you who don't know, who haven't had a chance to meet them, uh, I, mean, I remember running into Sean at Vegas, my first event, and it's, uh, you get starstruck. I mean, I was like, I saw his videos, I saw Reggie's videos, but Sean was the first guy I ran to in the lobby, and so cool. I mean, you know, like, sometimes, you, I took, like, five pictures with him in the lobby that night. I don't know if he remembers, him and Jesse, I took five pictures, and then the next I day, I, I took I another three. <laughs> And the next day, I took another three. So uh, Sean was so cool. And then, you know, everybody on the council is awesome. But, like, I just want to really congratulate Sean and Val um, on this next step in your journey. Um, you guys put so much value out there. And like I said, Sean, since the first day I met you, super cool dude. I mean, just you guys meet Sean. He's just like, I mean, he's super laid back, super, super chill. Just like, hey, let's go hang out in the lobby, guys. Let's, let's hey, I'm, I, you know, he's just blogging about, you know, blogging about everything and all the time. But just a really, really down-to-earth guy. Um, and yeah. so... Uh, I just want to congratulate you, Sean, um, for you know your next, next, uh, this next part of your journey. Also, being part of DS Domination, it's great because I know that you're going to be. You've already created massive success in DS Domination, and I can't, uh, I can't wait to see what you put out now that you're going to be focused 100. percent And uh, to you, Valerie, same thing. I mean, super, super, super sweet, sweet lady. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think when I met you in uh, in Vegas, it was just you know. I, it, I love you, Val. You know, <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. And uh, I am also very excited for uh, every, all the content and all the uh, value that you've been giving to the team since day one. And, you know, now that, uh, you know, I think, like I said, it kind of ties into this, uh, for me personally, it ties into this uh, hanging out with Keisha because I see, I saw Keisha go on her, on, on her uh, road blossoming. And now I, I'm just super excited for you and Sean kind of uh, on this next level of your journey going full time into this and, uh, being able to really blossom from here as well. So to you guys, guys, just salute you guys, and um, I'm just so excited for you guys. Congratulations, guys. Thanks, Jimmy. Aww. I remember that in the uh, I remember that in the lobby on the first night I was there. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. Like, oh my God, that's Sean Agnew. <laughs> Take a picture. And I'm sitting there like, okay, like I'm the first stalker. <laughs> I remember Jesse and I headed up to our room after. We were just like, this guy was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thanks, man. I do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Funny. All right. I remember yeah. the first time we did a hangout with you, and you, it was, I'll never forget it. It was with Deetra Jones and I, and we were in uh, uh, Florida. And uh, we were on vacation, staying in Ritz Carlton, and you said you wanted to get on a hangout. You said it was my first time, and you were a little nervous. And then you got on there and just stole the show. And I was just like, I love this guy. <laughs> I was like, I love this guy. I love his energy. And then I had the chance to meet you just a few weeks later, and your wife, and you guys are just so phenomenal. And I was like, yo, we got to get your wife on a hangout because she she just rocks. So I loved your energy. You were so precious. And I was just like, I love this guy. The moment you got on the hangout, I immediately loved you. And it's such it's so awesome to have you on a leadership council. You're such a wonderful addition. And I cannot wait to see you again and take more pictures and more videos because you guys had the hookup in Vegas. You guys had it all hooked up. So thank you so much for being here, Jimmy. I so appreciate and love you. Thank you so much. And I look forward to all the wonderful things you're going to do in the council as well. All right. So I'm going to interject right here as, a, <laughs> as, a, as the host, okay, and <laughs> tell you all how we going to do this, okay? So <clears throat> y'all long-winded council members now. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Jimmy, for addressing them both at the same time. Okay. So those of you who are left on here, this is what you're gonna do. You got about 30 seconds. I'm gonna teach y'all how we do at church. Okay. You got 30 seconds. You go over that 30 seconds. This is gonna hit the eject button. You're gonna be out of here. Okay. <laughs> I have, we have a boatload of people. You guys on, and we have a video. You guys, we have, and then we still got. You see, we still have stuff you guys haven't seen yet. So what? I just hold on. So thank you, Jimmy. You did a great and excellent. You were an excellent example. Okay, of what I want you all to do for going on here out. Okay. So, <laughs> so you, know, you can't go back through the whole story. Okay, about how you got it because we didn't got that kind of time. Now, when you're done, you know, saying Rezo just jumped out. When you're done, then you can jump off and let them. And we are we have a rolling list of people that are coming on to congratulate oh you guys. So. So oh Sean goodness. and um, Val, if you need you guys, you need to get a drink. 
I'm telling you because I'm just, you know, I'm just, I just told him this is going to be a long winded hangout. So (laughs) those of you who are viewing and everything, thank you for coming out tonight. But this is what it's all about, right? And we have other people that are retired. Coach Lakeisha Kenya, right? She'll probably be on as well. A nurse, retired 20 years, I don't know how many years, more than a year is too many years. But she was actually a nurse who retired, so she'll be coming on as well a little bit later. Uh, so you can see that the unit is retiring people, okay? We yes. are we're about retirement over in this piece, okay? I don't know what y'all are doing in other companies, but over here we retire. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you could just do that, that'd be great because, like I said, we do have a lot to do tonight. Um, and we just, we just want to celebrate you guys, okay? I ain't got nothing but time. I got no job. So, you know, <laughs> I ain't got no job, okay? <laughs> oh, my. I am okay, just, okay. I'm overwhelmed. Oh, oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll Bruce, jump here next so we can, okay. I can make some, make some space. But uh, uh, Sean and, and uh, definitely Val, I you know, met both of you in Vegas. And uh, Sean, uh, you poured your heart out sitting there at that table that night. Now, you know, never forget it, uh, you know, all the uh, – Great nuggets that you shared, you know, that night, and, and and you were just talking, but we were we were sponging everything up. So thank you very much. Congratulations on your success, and more to you in the future. Thank and you. And Al, um, I've uh, you know I've watched you. You've inspired me from the very beginning um, because I heard your story and heard it and heard it and heard it. And uh, you know, and, and I like you have been around the network marketing business uh, far longer than probably I want to admit. Right. <laughs> More companies than I want to admit, but uh, it's it's incredible to you know the one thing I kept hearing you say was that uh, you failed forward, and uh, and and I you know right uh, right on your heels. So I'm going to continue to you know uh, be right there with you. So we'll see y'all in the future. Congratulations to both of you, and uh, God bless. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much, Bruce. That really. Oh my goodness, I remember meeting you. You were so funny. Oh my God, and so kind. So thank you so much for being here. I'm going to keep it quick because he's going to kick me off the hand. <laughs> okay? So when I do the wave, that means that that person is leaving. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You've done an excellent job, Bruce. I appreciate you. Now we're going to ask you to hold all your comments until the end of the program, okay? Will do. Will do. <laughs> Dante, you're up, or David. Who's that? Dejan. We got Dejan, David, and Dante. All the D's are here. What's up? What up? What up, what up boo? What's going on? <laughs> oh, God. I'll go, I'll go ahead. Um, Valerie, Sean, you guys, the amount of value and stuff that you guys have brought to the UOP, uh, unbelievable. All I got to say is you guys totally deserve everything that you've gotten. And uh, I know there's all sorts of people that are going to have similar stories to you guys just because of all the value that you brought. And, uh, you know, I haven't met you all in person, but that's what we have the UOP for. Um, so, Valerie, I appreciate all the energy you brought. Sean, that Monopoly training you did a few months back has made me just a ridiculous amount of money. I mean, <laughs> awesome, bro. That's crazy. what it's all about, man. That's yeah. what it's all about. It. It's not about me and Val either. It's about, it's about everybody on the UOP making right. money. So I'm glad you got some value out of that. Absolutely. So I just want to say congrats. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. Who's next? <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, hop out. Um, Sean, Val, I just want to say congratulations. Um, I know it's been a long journey for both of you. Um, I'm wishing you much success. Uh, Definitely an inspiration. I remember being on the other side of the hangout, uh, just watching you guys every week, and now I'm sharing the same uh, stage pretty much with you guys. So I just uh, hope to, you know, get to that level uh, really quickly as well. And I just want to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh oh, here he goes. Here goes trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, are, you guys have a big heart. Um, I, <laughs> I met both of you guys in a funny way at the event. Um, <laughs> of course, Val, I had the photo bomb. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I got like three. A lot of um, people. Trust me. <laughs> I got, I got more. I got them on the uh, uh, SD disc. <laughs> I'm gonna bring those. <laughs> I'm gonna bring those out later. Uh, <laughs> but you guys bring a lot of value to the team. Um, and, and motivated me 
through my hard times as well, um, just watching the videos and looking at the hangouts and things like that. Um, Sean actually was the one that made me get <laughs> Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no, he can't just do this without me. So um, he definitely set the bar for me to um, and motivated me to go ahead um, with the training and get the ball rolling. Um, so I look forward to you guys' success and many, um, and just changing a lot of lives like you already done um, in the past, in the next year. So you guys take it easy. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thanks, Dante. Okay, so we got other people that are gonna jump on, but before they do, you guys, they all we had a bunch of people that could. We we try to keep this quiet and try, I mean, a, a secret. Okay, so we have a video that we want to play. People actually submitted videos. And um, I'm gonna share my screen. Oh, here I want to. What? Yeah. So hold on. Just let me know. Can you see this right here? Can you see this video? No. No. Okay, hold on. What do I do? Uh, you can't see um, Lakeisha, can you? Yeah, no. I can see it now. Okay, I can't see anything. Ah. Uh, you can't see it? No. Oh wait, there, there she go. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna play the video. Other people are gonna be jumping on, but. Um, just watch the video. Okay, wait a minute. Now I can't see it. What is going on here? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Now I can't. Now I can't. Oh, I'm so upset here. You got it? Okay. No. <laughs> okay, well, you oh, what's happening? No. Sean, you can see it? Yeah, I can see it perfectly fine. You can see it perfectly. Ah. Uh, Val, what are you seeing? I'm just seeing, like, you know, the Winning Women Network thing. Okay. okay. Let me stop sharing. You are in it um, as well with under the... Uh... Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. So now <laughs> you see me. Okay, okay, now you see your face, Keisha. Yeah. Okay, oh, this now. is so bizarre. If I click on your picture, I, can, I don't see your face. But if I'm clicking off, then I see your face. So yeah, yeah, don't click on her picture. If you click on her picture, it'll be weird. Click off it. Okay, I'm clicked off it, but then okay. I can't see. I what see a tiny, tiny, tiny screen. Do you see the... Um... You know what I'm going to do? No, no, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up my iPad. Go watch it. Yeah, you can just go yeah. watch the hangout. That's there what you do. Go. That's a smart idea. Yeah. And, and see here. Because Let me is... know when you have it up. Okay. Oh, Sean. my God. So funny. Sean, you can see the the purple screen right now, right? Yes, I can see it. Uh -huh. okay, awesome. Let me stop sharing. You are in it um, as well. With so, Val, are you ready? Well, it's probably got to... Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. So now, <laughs> see me. Okay, okay, now you see your face, Keisha. Oh, okay, this is so bizarre. <laughs> if I click on your picture, I don't see your face. You're playing the hangout, right? If I'm clicking off, then I see your face. Okay, what's going on there? <laughs> you gotta mute the sound, Val. I don't. Okay, I clicked off it, but then I can't see. Okay, I don't know where that's coming from because that's not me. Do you see the. Um... You know what I'm gonna do? No, no, no. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna that's not you? Watch no! Watch that's what I'm gonna do. Who's on the hangout, too? Are we good? Right, I, can see the, I can see the screen, though. You can see the screen now. Yeah. Right. Sean, you good? Yep. Okay, good. Here we go. What's up, Valerie? It's Keisha. You think that I'm actually at the mall shopping for my interview tomorrow, but I'm actually shopping um, for your retirement party, girl. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to tell you that I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. And congratulations on your retirement. I hope you enjoy it tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you on the Hangout tomorrow. Love you. Bye. <laughs> hey, Miss Valerie Mason, it's Adrian Jolly. Oh. I wish you a happy retirement. Um, wanted to 
wish you all the best in the world while as you are embarking on this new adventure. So again, happy retirement. Take care. <laughs> congratulations on your retirement congratulations on your uh, move and your new beginning it has been such an honor and a pleasure to even have met you and work with you just to see all that you have been able to accomplish in a matter of about a year has just been awesome you are such an inspiration to a lot of people and I just want to let you know that this is only the beginning the best is still yet to come and I love you and again congratulations Hey Val, you're Mom from Colorado here. Congratulations on your retirement. You absolutely deserve it. Welcome to the club. <laughs> hey Valerie, this is Armanda, and I'm excited to be wishing you a very happy retirement today. I know that you know it took a lot for you to get to this point, but you stuck it out, and you represent us so well. I pray that you'll continue to be blessed, continue to thrive in all that you do. The best is yet to come. Hi, Val. I just wanted to uh, congratulate you. I heard the great news that you're retiring. It's awesome news, and uh, we just wanted to uh, celebrate that and let you know how happy we are for you. And also to thank you for your leadership on our team and within DS. Uh, so congratulations, Val, and look forward to all the great things ahead. Hey, Valerie. Congratulations on your retirement. That is amazing. I know that you know it took a lot for you to get to this point. Can but that. Happy retirement today. I know that in a year's time. So fantastic job. You've done a phenomenal job. Thank you so much for being an inspiration uh, to so many people around me, my family, everybody. I have watched you from afar. Uh, getting to know you and watch you prosper has been amazing. You were phenomenal at the convention, and you're still phenomenal today. So. Thank you for being a part of the Unit of Prosperity and Women, Winning Women Network. And uh, we love you, and we can't wait to see what you do from now. Hey, Valerie, just Harriet. So bless Sanders, girl. Congratulations on your retirement. Whoop, whoop. Turn it up one time. Peace. Hey, Valerie, congratulations. This is Sonia Jennings. Wishing you all the best on your retirement, as well as your move. This is just the beginning. God has so much in store for you. Congratulations. Hey, I just would love to wish Valerie Mason a wonderful <laughs> retirement, and thanks to DS Domination and your hard work, your determination, and your stick to -itiveness. Yes, that is a word. You've accomplished <laughs> what you've been looking to do for a long time. And I know it took 20 years, but... <laughs> You know, I wish you the best, all the blessings, your move and everything. You're an inspiration to me and everyone else I'm sure as you come into contact with. And I just want to take time to say congrats. Thank you. I love It's a pleasure working with you, being on your team. Hi, Valerie. Sharon Book around here. I just wanted to uh, take a minute to thank you for your leadership. Thank you for all the energy that you bring to the team. And I wanted to wish you a very happy retirement and all success in everything that you plan to do in the future. Enjoy. I can't wait to join you. Take care. Bye. Hey, so I'm here Edward here, and I wanted to shoot this video to send a big, huge, fat congratulations to Valerie Mason on retiring from the job. Yay, Valerie! Congratulations! And I just wish you much more success in everything that you do. You are awesome. You're a great role model. And I will keep watching you, girl. Again, congratulations. Yay! Val, girl, you have no idea. <laughs> I am sitting over here just in awe, inspired, so happy for you. Congratulations on your retirement. Congratulations on your big move. You are doing everything and then some. And, you know, you are just a force to watch and behold. Keep on doing it. Keep on inspiring us all. And enjoy, enjoy, enjoy this life that you're creating because it is beautiful. Beautiful to watch. Take care. Talk to you soon. Love you. Goodness. Hey, Valerie Mason. 
I am so excited for you. Congrats, congrats, congrats for quitting your job. I'm so excited to have you as a leader in DSB in the Unit of Prosperity. You, you're somebody I am really looking up to, and I so love watching you and doing your videos. I'm learning a lot from you. Thank you for being part of us. Thank you for being part of our team. Chloe Mason, oh my God, I'm so psyched today to say congratulations that you are leaving your job, girl. That's right. Adios, sayonara, uh, take a hike, all of those things that you <laughs> years, but finally you got to the point where you could actually say it. The diplomatic Valerie Mason reminds us to be so humble, just as good as you can be, always going to help others, but guess what? It is your challenge. Almost. All I want to say is congratulations. I love you pieces. I'm with you up there in Charlotte, North Carolina. Your new big, you just go on, girl. Walk in it, walk on the bus. See you sooner rather than later, and I look forward to even more successes in the future. Take great care. God bless. Hello. I want to say congratulations to Sam. You really knocked it out the ballpark. And this is the type of thing that happens when you give so selflessly of yourself, you know, God blesses you for being such a blessing to others. Um, it couldn't happen to a more wonderful person. And I just can't wait to, you know, see you the next time to be able to give you a hug. And, you know, I'm just really just flat out excited for you. And I want to say, keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations on your retirement, you deserve it, and can't wait to move and closer to the area and looking forward to the opportunity to be able to kick it and hang out with you. Go girl, you deserve it. Go to your teacher kidnap. Valerie, it's me, Valine. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement and your huge success on BSB. I have listened to you on your webinars and videos. And I absolutely love, love, love the enthusiasm that I hear in your voice. Um, it shows me that it doesn't matter who you are and what you've done in life. If you keep taking action and you're persistent, success will come to you. Um, so congratulations. I love you. And I hope to see you at the top. I just wanted to give you a quick shout out and to tell you congratulations for being able to say bye-bye to the J-O-B. I know how good it felt when I was able to do that, and I know that this is something that many, many women and men as well, but women really, really wish they could do, and you are setting a major trend by making you to quit your job because of the yeah, domination. So keep doing what you're doing, girl, um, helping other women so that they can get into the same position that you're in right now. Again, congratulations on your uh, saying, you know, bye to your boss for good and your new move to Charlotte, North Carolina. Love you, girl. Bye. Hi, Valerie. This is Evelyn. Wishing you all the best in your move. And I'm so glad I got to meet you in person. You are wonderful. You're very inspirational. You're the video queen, which can you believe I'm making a video for you? My <laughs> husband. Hope to see you again in the future, even if it is online. Wishing you well. Hi there, Valerie. It's Kay White. Just want to congratulate you on your retirement. I'm very excited for you. And I want to say thanks for just being an inspiration and an example of what's possible. You give me just encouragement, hope, and inspiration, motivation every single day. Take care. Enjoy. Hey, Val. How are you? I'm so proud of you, man. You have reached the point in your life where you are stopping one thing and now you are beginning something else. I want you to just remember as you're going through this, it may feel uncomfortable. It may seem like is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? It may even seem like, you know, everything is coming at me now. You may experience some strife. That means you're on the right path. So I'm just happy for you. Congratulations, and we love you. We are here to support you on this new part of your journey. Congratulations. Woo Way to go, Val! You are an inspiration. I am so excited for you on your retirement. 
way to go. I love that you're retiring young. You're going to be able to travel. You're going to be able to enjoy life. I am so proud of you. I'm so excited for you. Can't wait to see you soon. Hey, Val, it's Angie, and I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. What an amazing accomplishment. You are such an inspiration. You motivate us. You are so positive. Nothing comes from you that is not something that moves someone further in their path of excellence. So thank you for all the value that you've created and everything that you offer. You touch people, and it's so, so important to touch the hearts of people. I hope you were surprised by this retirement party, and I hope that you um, know how much all these ladies love you and, and all those that could not get a video. You know, on behalf of all of them, we love you, Val. Keep rocking it out, sis, and we will see you soon. Hold up, wait a minute, there's somebody else we need to talk about right quick. Sean Agnew, congratulations, you're retiring too and we want to take a minute and recognize you. Congratulations on your hard work, on your retirement, uh, you are getting ready to embark on a brand new chapter of your life. Thank you for all that you provide, thank you for all that you do for all of us and uh, here's a few people that want to say something to you. Hey, Mr. Sean Agnew, it's Adrian Jolly wanting to wish you a very happy, happy retirement. It is an exciting time for you and your family, and I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hey, Sean, I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. You have worked really hard, and you deserve all of the success that you are experiencing. And I just wanted to say I'm excited to be actually working with you. It has been a pleasure over the last, I don't know, eight, nine, ten months, however long it's been. So I just wanted to congratulate you and give you well wishes, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future has to hold for you. Again, congrats. Sean, I want to say, you know, congratulations on your retirement. And I think I read somewhere that you were going to be um, leaving the snow for the winter headed to South sunny Florida. So congratulations on your move and thankfully, you know, to BS Domination, you have accomplished uh, your goals and dreams. And I know this is only the beginning for you. So happy for you and your family. You know, keep up the good work and keep being the leader you are. Congratulations, Coach Lakeisha Kenyon. Uh, it's me, Darlene. We haven't really been talking much on Facebook, but I do follow your posts and I've watched you on the webinars. I wanted to congratulate you on your huge success on BSD and also congratulate you on your time. And you've done so much for yourself and your family. And I hope that this next chapter in your life will bring you so many more blessings because you deserve it. Hey, Sean, I'm so excited that you are quitting your job. Congratulations. I'm so glad you're putting the Canadians into DSD. I'm so glad you're on our team and on our leaderboard. I've had so much to learn from you. Love being a Canadian with you. Hey, that, uh, congrats. I can't say congrats enough. Congratulations. I hope you have a blast. It's Diane Klein in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Hello, it's Beatrice Jones here wishing Sean Agnew. A wonderful congratulations, giving the boss the boot. How amazing and incredible this journey has been thus far, and I absolutely wish you every single great thing which you've already seen a lot of evidence of. I look forward to sharing and celebrating so much more with you. Congratulations, new beginnings, new and higher heights. God bless you, Sean. Take great care, and I will see you somewhere soon. From the unit of prosperity. Hey Sean, you're moving on to the next part of your life, Sarah. You are done with one chapter, you're moving on to the next chapter. And I just want to congratulate you. Your hard work, your ethics, the way that you work with your team, it all shows. Not only does it show from everybody else watching, but it shows monetarily. That's all that money is. It's the blessing of our hard work, right? Congratulations. Keep going. You can do this. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the top. Have a good one. 
Hey, Sean, congratulations on your retirement from the J-O-B. How exciting for you. I just wanted to say to you that thank you so much for being such a tremendous inspiration, watching you, your hard work, your, your dedication, your imagination and creativity, um, and everything that you've applied yourself really is really inspirational and very helpful to those of us who are, you know, just getting this right going. So thank you for being you. Congratulations to you. Enjoy the rest of your life because it is very clear it is the best of your life. Take care. Have a great retirement. Hey, Lysandra Everett here, and I want to send a huge congratulations to Sean Agnew for retiring early. Congratulations, Sean. I've seen your accomplishments. You've been doing so great, and you're such a role model, and I just look forward to seeing what you're going to do next. So again, congratulations. Yay for you. Woohoo! Bye. Hi there, Sean. This is Kay White. Just wanted to say a quick congratulations to you on your retirement. Very excited for you, and thank you for being just an example of what is possible and giving so many of us encouragement and hope and just for inspiring us. Thank you again. Enjoy. This message is for Sean Agnew. Hey, Sean, congratulations on your early retirement. Awesome. You know, um, I guess it wouldn't be possible without DS Domination and, of course, without your determined will to be successful and to retire. So congrats. I wish you the best. Much success in your future. And I'm proud that you are, um, that you and I are on the same team. Blessings to you and your family. Hey, Sean. You're off from Colorado here. Congratulations on your early retirement. I know you're going to crush it. Hey, congratulations, Sean, on your retirement. That is phenomenal. Um, just like Valerie, you are most certainly a trendsetter. Uh, we do remember uh, when Coach Lakeisha also retired. Um, so DS Domination is not just a blessing to one, but it's a blessing to many. So congratulations to you and your family. Thank you so much for being a part of the Unit of Prosperity. We love you here, and we cannot wait to see what you have in store for the next few months. Congratulations. Hello, Sean. This is Sonia Jennings wishing you a happy retirement. All the best to you and your family. God bless. Hey, Sean. It's Stephanie. I just wanted to take a few seconds to congratulate you on your retirement. It's awesome news. And uh, also to thank you for your leadership on our team and within DS. And I just wanted to let you know how happy we all are for you and looking forward to all the awesome things that are coming up with uh, DS and our team. Have a great day. Woohoo! Way to go, Sean. I am so excited for you on your retirement. This is just awesome. You're going to be able to enjoy so much time with your family. What a special gift. So congratulations. It's well-deserved. Love working with you and keep dominating. Sean Agnew, the significance of this video is that I remember watching you record so many videos from your car, um, and I don't know where you were going, but the value that you would give people while you were driving your car was unbelievable. And so tonight, we want to say to you, congratulations on your retirement. You worked really hard, and you deserve um, everything that's coming to you right now. I thank you so much for the night that you gave me coaching sessions on how to be a monopoly rock star, okay? And so now it's your time to shine, bro. We are so proud of you. We're, we just want to, you know, say to you, congratulations. We wish you massive success in your new life to come. All right. See you tonight. Bye. Cool. All right. Anybody still here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Be like, anybody still here? Okay. Like after all that. Oh my God. You guys, we are we are um, so so proud of you all, Valerie. Where's Valerie? Oh, that's right. She came in as uh, me. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. Awesome. Um, we just you know, you know the unit. We always do you know take it, you know we take it up a notch. We do we do things that are different. So now we release this 
retirement party system to the entire company. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll put in our marketing system how you can retire, how to host a retirement party, the unit style. Um, Coach Lakeisha, welcome here, my dear, on the panel. You have retired as well, and so we wouldn't dare, you know, you know, overlook anybody. Um, Sean, Sean, who had the sunglasses on top, um, because of the domination. And stuff. She has actually um, doing what she wants to do. I think she's in massage school. She's in some some school right now, doing something that um, she doing something that she loves and stuff. And so um, there are some people that are on here on here now. Now the only thing is we we want if you left a video, then we're gonna ask you to to not have words on the hangout. Okay. So those of you who have not done a video, yeah, because I mean it's like seven o'clock, so you know we don't want to be here all night. Um, but those of you who have not said words, Val, I know you're like, <laughs> and it's so funny, you guys, I'm talking to her, and she's like, I'm getting my makeup ready, da, 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 da. and I'm just thinking like, oh, this is going to be so good, like, yeah, you know, she's getting all dolled up and stuff. John, I can't surprise you, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out, I saw Reginald and Jesse, I said, you guys figure that out, okay, but some kind of way, get him on this woman's hangout on Sunday night, okay, and we're going to, you know, we're going to celebrate. Um. But not only this, you all. So the video, you guys, I'll send you guys that you can have a copy of the video. And there may be some other videos. If Angie's not on, there may be some other videos that we, if you can see the time, okay? We, we just didn't have time to put everybody's video in there. But we certainly will send them to you all, and then you all can watch them at your leisure and, and stuff and mold in that whole moment, okay? Also, you all, we actually collected as a team um, money for you all, okay? And so Val is actually starting a new life in a new city. I mean, you heard she's going to be moving to North Carolina. And so I didn't, we didn't want to send you, like, gifts and stuff because you're moving. That's crazy. Um, but last I checked, your GoFundMe was at $540. Oh, my God. Uh, that we are actually, and we will release the account over um, to you, and then you can um, set up GoFundMe to put that money into your bank account. And I don't know what it is right now. I'll be honest with you. I, I haven't. I looked at it last. It was 540. Sean, we actually have one for you as well. And the last time I looked, and Reg, I think he went. Re, Rachel, can you look at at the GoFundMe accounts and report and let me know? Yes. Give me just a minute, sweetie. Okay. The last time I checked, Sean, yours was about 500 and something. I can't remember like where it was at, right? And so for you, I know that you're getting ready to come to Florida, come to the United States, and so you know. Don't use it on your FBA, okay? I want you to use this, okay? <laughs> like, we want you to buy something nice for yourself, okay? You know, because we know that, you know, you're not moving to a new house and all this kind of stuff. Val has a different journey she's on. But do something nice for yourself, right? If you, you know, maybe there's a watch that you've been eyeing. I don't know, right? I don't know what, but, you know, do something nice for yourself. And this, the unit of prosperity, all, you know, everybody. We want to say how much we absolutely love you guys and, um, and just, you know, there's more people on. They have words they're gonna say, but I just want to let you know. We'll um, we'll let you guys know. We'll update you all on the GoFundMe um, what we were able to collect um, as time per set per goes on. All right, Tiffany. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everyone. Hey Sean. Congratulations. I'm super excited for you. Um, congratulations on your journey. Valerie, congratulations on your journey. Welcome to North Carolina. <laughs> I was down there this weekend. So I have actually told a couple of girlfriends, I said a good friend of mine is coming down from New York. And I said, you guys are going to have to treat us up. I actually have some people to connect you with when you get to Charlotte. So congratulations on your journey. You inspire me so much. You both do. Thank you for all that you do. Wish you many blessings and have a wonderful evening. Oh, Keisha. Keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking at the GoFundMe. Go ahead. So you guys just go right out one after the other. Um, just go ahead and give your congrats and stuff like that. Thank you so much, Tiff. Hey, Sean and Valerie. This is Kay Cornelius. I just wanted to say Hi. congratulations to both of you guys. You guys are such an inspiration to all of us, especially many of us that are still working. So it is great encouragement, inspiration to all of us to know that it's very possible for us with hard work, persistence, and being consistent. And I want to say congrats to you both.
Who's next? We got any more people want to jump on? Rachel? If so, tell them they got... They better get on now. Hey, um, hey, Valerie. Hey, Sean. So excited for both of you. Wow, this is amazing. Um, I think back, Val, to when we were in Vegas and we're standing in the middle of that store. We were <laughs> laughing and talking and how you had all this agenda that had nothing to do with your job. And look at you now, girl. I am so proud of you. Keep it up. Thank you for being such an inspiration to all of us, including myself. Um, you are probably one of the, like between you, Keisha, you know, you guys inspired me to keep going. And, and I look at you and I said, well, you know, if they can do it, I can too. So thank you again for all that you do. And just to um, reach out to Sean, I want to say, Sean, thank you for, you know, giving of yourself so unselfishly when I was trying to figure out Monopoly, my son was trying to figure it out. You really, really... You know, I'm not even on your team, and you still, you know, you were willing to help. Words cannot express how grateful I am for you, how my, how grateful my son is for you, and we just, we love you guys, and we're looking forward to seeing what else you have coming. Take care. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you all so very much. And I was just checking. I'm actually posting. I think um, Rachel, I mean, yeah, Rachel, so you said it's 540, can you give the numbers? It's 540 for Val and 590 for Sean. Okay, awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, you guys can. And I just posted the group too as well, so if, they, if other people okay. want to contribute, we can do that publicly now. Thank you, thank you, Reginald, because I was trying to I was trying to do that, but you know how that goes. Um, thank you so much. So yeah, so those of you who are still watching, if you want to, you know, if you want to be a blessing to someone, because that's the one thing I've learned, um, you guys, what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. So those of you who are wanting to retire, and you know, you you know, you're looking at them, you're saying, man, I can't wait to do it. Just just celebrate right now. So don't don't be you know way up in the. I wish I could. Be right here and celebrate these guys that are actually doing it. You know, where did Coach Lakeisha? Did she go? Um, you know, Coach Lakeisha and all the all the unit that has been able to actually retire. Just celebrate with them right now and know that your day is coming and it's coming. And then somebody will turn will celebrate you as well. So I'm excited for you all. If we don't have anybody else that's jumping on, uh, I'm about to say uh, you guys can give your you know your closing closing thoughts. And oh, you know what? Actually, one more thing. I'm sorry. Um, Val, there was one of the writers that we have inside of the our team, Heidi Senor. She's she's been sick. She sent me a message though. She actually wrote you a biography. Yes. A, um, and so she actually sent that over. I don't know if she sent it to you as well, but but um, and you, if you guys need a bio done, I'm telling you guys, this girl's a beast. This girl's a beast. But anyway, so I wanted to make sure I, I acknowledge that she was um, not able to do a video or get on because she wasn't feeling well. So, and that's Heidi. Awesome. Awesome. Anybody else want to get on, Rachel? Or are we good? We good? There's Coach. We have, we have one more person. Latanya Jones wanted to come out. I'm not sure if she's there, if she's coming or not, but she should. Okay. We'll give her a few, a few seconds. Okay, so I'm going to see. Is it um Coach Lakeisha? Okay. Welcome back. Hi, can you can you hear me, Keisha? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I jumped off because I was in the video, so I jumped off. But again, um I just want to thank you. Thank you for being the visionary that you are, Keisha, to even put this together. I was just in awe of the whole thought and the opportunity. It is just so phenomenal. And I could just see Val, the I mean, just the excitement. I know exactly how you guys, you and Sean, feel um, being able to retire from your job. It's like, for me, it was a 16-year struggle, and it was like a dream come true. So just to be able to create your own future and, you know, no matter what it looked like in the past, Val and I have sold everything but dirt. And for you to be, for you now to be 
you know, in the position where you can just set your own goals and live on your own terms is just phenomenal. So, so glad to be a part of this history that has been created today. And, you know, so glad that you guys were, you know, so surprised about it. I was like, <laughs> you know, how are we going to keep it a secret? But um, they did very well in keeping it concealed. And thank you again, Keisha, for, you know, just putting it out there, you and Reginald and Rachel and everybody behind the scenes, Angie, everybody. And it's just a, a great place to be. And, you know, I would not want to be a part of another company or another team than what we have right here. And I am here until they shut the place down. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just flat out excited. And, you know, I'm just glad to be here and glad to be able to tell you guys congratulations and you know welcome to the retirement club awesome 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 oh well this has been awesome you guys thanks for um so everybody that I don't see Latanya but okay cool um thanks to everybody who who helped you know to pull this thing off and stuff everybody who worked together in the background Angie Tonini Roger <laughs> um, yeah, so everybody that you know that you know worked to get this done, Angie Tonini Rogers, I think she jumped off or whatever. But you guys, she did the whole video, put all that together, stayed up to the wee hours of the morning. I just she you know messaged me, and I know it was one o'clock here, and it was three or four o'clock you know where she lived. I just said, girl, go to bed, right? But um, the ladies and you know everyone just pulled together and you know really helped. To all those that behind Jesse behind the scenes, you guys know we weren't gonna get Jesse on no video. So Sean, just know that Jesse. Did I would have been really impressed if you had a video from Jesse. We would have been really impressed too, okay? <laughs> but you know, that's just you know, we just we're taking baby steps. And um, but he did he did help for um, us to you know to get the information out to your team and everything. Um, so thank you to everybody, Rachel for organizing. Reginald, thank you so much. Um, you must be eating tacos or something. Doesn't even show anything. <laughs> 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 but you know, for you have this, you know, you keep you um you let us do stuff like this, right? And you inspire us and you push us forward and, and stuff. So I just can't, you know, I can you know just go without saying, you know, I appreciate you. You are you're a trendsetter, right? And so so everything we do, we you know, we just do it big, right? That's all we know to do because you just do it big. Um, so Val and Sean, um, I just want you all to know I love you so much. And I'm so proud of you guys, and like I cannot wait. Val, I'm thinking about flying to North Carolina. I'm so excited that I'm gonna have to come, you know, and and show up and have a housewarming and be like, hey guys, we are having a housewarming at Val's house. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> like I'm surprising you, like surprised you ain't getting in. <laughs> You're like, but thanks so much. There's Angie. There's Angie. Angie Tonini Rogers. Is that Deitra? Deitra, is that you on the Demetri? I'm here. Yes, I am. I wanted to say, Valerie, got you, girl. Got you. Got you. I talked to her so much yesterday. Never said a word. Love it. <laughs> I love you so much. We all love you. Thank you so much for being such an inspiration. Just a heart of gold, which really lines right up with the unit of prosperity and the hope giver. Just so much love all around us to help us grow and any bumps in the road. You all are so good at just um, adding a cushion for those of us that are getting through things and just to help everybody to get through it. So it's just a, it's wonderful to serve with you, wonderful to work together. Angie, you did an absolutely superb job too. And I just want to say thank you to you. I also wanted to say to Sean, too, uh, he, he's gone, but anyway, just a blessing to work with all of you. Thank you so very much, but oh my gosh, we got y'all so good. Are y'all having fun? Y'all love this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Keisha. Phenomenal job. Everybody, it's just been awesome. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of it. It's been a blast. <laughs> so we got many more parties to plan, so. Indeed, I Keisha. I got the party, okay? Yeah, we cruising, too. Thanks. <laughs> yes. WWN Cruise. Reginald, you better get on it, okay? Get on it. Women gonna be cruising, okay? Y'all brothers better get your mind right, because the women about to be in uh, Tahiti somewhere, J Jamaica. We're gonna be sending pictures from Jamaica. We're like, hey, Jamaica, where you at? Okay, we're gonna be on the Capital Jazz Cruise next year, okay? That's right. Tiffany. WWN takes it over. Take it over, okay? <laughs> awesome. Okay, Angie Tonini Rogers. 
Yeah. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. You're hey, no you problem. You rock. You know, I appreciate all the videos. I know some people gave me some after I had already uploaded, but I'll get anything I got afterwards to you, Val and uh, Sean. So I'll send them to your uh, email. I just need your email. I'll send them to you, Google, Google Drive. But it was fun. So happy to do it. Thank you so much. All right. Any last and final thoughts? This is the last exit on this sermon. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Y'all are going to take out the path and close by time. Yeah, five. I love how we do things here. I love it that Reginald does allow us to be trendsetters, but we do trendsetting classy and mature style and with integrity. And I just think that's a wonderful thing, and it's a blessing to be able to have flexibility. All of us have different gifts, and he allows us to use them and pull them all together, and they mesh together well. That's because God is in it. So thank you so much, Reginald Stinson, the boss, for allowing us to have so much fun and really celebrate one another's victories, big or small. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Tiffany said, may the Lord watch. Now y'all know y'all are gonna turn y'all know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> watch between. <laughs> okay, good night, Rachel. Thank you so much. Rachel, watch between me and thee when we are absent. <laughs> One from the other, okay? Where is we third service? Where is Harriet? We ain't fooling with y'all tonight. <laughs> Where is Harriet, okay? This is one of those hangouts where I need to end the broadcast and just keep letting y'all go. Um, Val and Sean, Sean's double, Sean, we're seeing double. Are you here? Oh, wow. yeah, I don't know. I'm in here twice, apparently. <laughs> which one are you? All right, which one are you? Let me see. Um, you that can click there. on the one where I don't have a video and just kick it out. I can't kick you out on either one of them. That's weird. Yeah, uh, All right. Well, Reginald, you muted. What'd you say? No, I would say don't do it. You may block them. <laughs> right. All right. Last and final thoughts. Oh yeah, but I will say this. Um, since since I'm unmuted, um, again, uh, I'm super excited. I'm happy for you all. Today is about you, and like Keisha said, don't FBA your items and all that. I mean, your money will you get. John. <laughs> you already know I'm buying ten shares in the co-op now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, this is probably for Sean because I know he's going to find something to do with it with his business. But <laughs> definitely, uh, take that time out and really do something for yourself. Y'all um, still here? What y'all still doing here? <laughs> here get him. <laughs> there you go. What y'all still doing here? We going for another hour now. <laughs> All right, but I love you all. Good night. I'm about to go eat. I didn't grab my tacos. I'm about to go eat. <laughs> um, I'll be right over. Val, if you have a house woman, let us know. We'll, you know it. <laughs> we'll send some your way or try to come, depending on. <laughs> no, no, no. We drop shipping it. We drop shipping it. <laughs> <laughs> shipping from eBay. All right. I'm I'm done. You done, Sean? You done, Val? Uh uh. Just a big thank you. Just thank you all so very much. I was so, I'm so surprised, and um, all of you for any input you had. You know, Reginald, you know how I feel. Carrie, um, Angie, for the video. Oh, that was a lot of work. Thank you so very much. Deetra, I'm going to get you for not telling me nothing. <laughs> Sean, I'm so excited for both of us. I cannot wait to see you pop that bottle of champagne. You made me go out and get my own bottle yesterday. And Keisha, what can I say? I love you so much. Um, talking to you all the time has been such a blessing and a joy, and you're like the woman with the million-dollar ideas, and I'm just so in awe of you. So that's all I have to say. Just thank you all so very much, and I'm, I'm so surprised that you did all this for us, and I'm, I'm truly thankful. Awesome. Yeah, and, and just to echo Val's words, like uh, I'm practically speechless here. This is <laughs> very, very, very humbling. Um, it's a dream come true to be in a position that Val and I are at today, and, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without the domination, certainly without the Unit of Prosperity and, and Reginald's leadership and the entire council that we have around here. Um, I don't think people realize how 
how close knit of a group we have here on the leadership council and within the unit itself. And uh, I appreciate everything that you guys did uh, for this evening. Keisha, Deitra, Angie, uh, Rachel, and all the team that puts this together. Reggie, of course. Um, very touching, very moving. Um, I, I, I'm speechless. Usually I, I can talk for hours. I don't have much more to say other than thank you very much. This was uh, a wonderful surprise and uh, I appreciate what you guys do for me every day. And uh, I look forward to sharing uh, and popping some champagne for you guys in the near future. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, you guys. Thanks for those that hung out to the end, just in case you're guests and you're still hanging out from here and you want to retire, then this is the way to go. Hit join now. Get in the business. 1995 to get started. It's going to be the best thing you ever did. Don't go to McDonald's. Don't go out to eat. Whatever you got to do to get $20, okay? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. We love you. Hey, come back tomorrow night. We'll be, uh, we'll be live again. We'll keep this party going. If Mr. Insight was anywhere around in the building, guys, it's going to be a party. So we love you, and thanks so much. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to the About tab and visit my website. You'll see it right there in the description. It's PartnerWithYvonne.com. Again, www.PartnerWithYvonne.com.